for my PS5 capture now. I normally don't switch consoles midstream. Normally, normally the console I, I start with is, is the one that I'm playing for the rest of the stream, so this is a bit unorthodox for me. Does that look okay? That should be fine. It's a bit too red on, on my one monitor, but... Do you think you'll play Judgment in the future? Um, maybe. I want to kind of work through... I want to kind of... It, like, if I'm going to play more of this series, I want to work through the rest of Yakuza first. Um, but I, I, but man, Judgment is promising just based off its, like, nature of, like, being on PS5, which is a console I love, and, um, the remaster just came out, so, I don't know, it might be, it might be a nice place to start something else, I guess, maybe. Um, I probably won't ever stream it, though. I can't imagine I, I would go out of my way to stream Judgment. I get that it's his back, but it looks kind of leathery for a back. I love, I love the texture on, on, uh, this this 4K texture on the, on the title screen. Okay, let's go. Um, all right, so, Costco Awakens and finds on the outskirts of, uh, easy, oh, <laughs> darn those PS5 loading times. Um, I can't, is there, I mean, is there a way I can, like, easily... Reminds y'all the story. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Look at that. Okay. So just quick summary Um How's it go awakens and finds himself in the out? Oh, it's the same blurb. Uh, I find in the outskirts of Is Isazaki Ijinsho, Yokohama. He's painted by the bullet wound in his chest almost as much as his betrayal at the hands of his hero Arakawa Fortunately, the wound is tended to by Nanba a homeless former nurse Kasuga's life is saved, but he has no connection to this new city and must rebuild from nothing. Two men set out to find jobs, and with a little help from Hello Work and a local barfly named Tamako, they find themselves getting back on their feet. Uh, and then also we just met up with uh, this guy again. I didn't read the first two because I figured those bits are like extremely memorable. And if you watch the first bit, you probably remember the basic gist of before uh, Yokohama. <laughs> um, but yeah, so now, uh, so now, uh, Adachi is in our party. Adachi and, uh, Nanba. So we got, we got a, we got a three dude party. This is just a fucking boy squad across the board. Um, what's our current quest? What are we doing? Tasks. Oh yeah, yeah, so we need to, we need to find, we need to go back to Hello Work. We're finding a jab. We're finding a jab. Uh, where's that? This way? Can we... Are there any cabs around here? I did not- I never picked up a cab. Wait. I thought... Oh, I thought this was blocked off for some reason. Okay, I'm going this way. Yeah! Whoa. Oh, oh yeah, I love this! Hey, what's that thing? Oh yeah, I got a voice act. That's right. Sometimes. Not all the time. Something stuck in the ground. I think it's a bat. Why the hell would there be a bat stuck in the ground? <laughs> Who knows? Probably some kind of lame prank. Oh, just... What's up? Hey, what are you doing? Isn't it obvious? I'm trying to pull this damn bat out. I bet if we pawned it, we'd get a few hundred yen. No dice. Damn. Yeah, it's really stuck in there. I love this scene. Adachi, son, you're strong. You give it a shot. Listen. Sure, let me at it. <laughs> Tired of this shit. Damn it, won't budge. It must be pretty wedged in there if my guns can't do it. You two are pathetic. I'll show you how it's done. I'm the man! Damn. Credit where it's due, I guess. But what'd you do any differently than I did? 
<laughs> I bet only the chosen hero could pull it out. Uh, of course. I forgot we have a hero in our midst. A hero? Him? You know how in RPGs there's always some holy sword that only the hero can pick up? Kasuka here has been on a quest to become a hero since he was a kid. Uh huh. I mean, kinda. Oh, well, that dirty old bat isn't exactly a holy sword. Leave it to reality to crush the fantasy. The holy sword of the hero. Ha! <laughs> I will be the savior of this world! <laughs> You had to copy the voice That's the spirit, Ichiban. You actually look the part. Hey. If you knuckleheads are done role-playing, shall we go find some damn jobs? Uh-oh, here come some rapscallions. No. Hey, guys, you having a good time? Well, sorry, but we're dad hunters. So make this simple and fork over all your cash. Well, we don't actually have any. Three middle-aged dudes and no cash? Yeah, right. You'll need to lie better than that, you old bastards. Damn, truth really hurts when punks call you out on it. What's up? Hey, Mr. Hero, you like using that holy sword to smite some monsters? <laughs> ha, good idea. Come on. Oh, shit, I gotta bump it. I gotta bump it. There we go. Whoa, what just happened? <laughs> Did you see those guys freaking transform? Huh? What are you raving about? Uh, you know this isn't a video game. Yes, it is. Come back to Earth. I'm streaming on Twitch.com. No one else sees this? Well, whatever. <laughs> that least it's more fun for me. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Uh. Oh, so now we have we have a new ability, Pyro Belch. Watch this. Use alcoholic flames. Oh shit! <laughs> Dude's like, he's fucking stepping on me. What are you doing? Get the fuck out of the way, man! What are you doing? Get out of here! No, wrong one. Damn it! Well, that kind of works. Fuck. Oh shit! Oh my god! I, I, you know what? I think I'm really fucking tired today, cause I, cause I've been, I've been, I've been thinking that based off of like my commentary tonight, I'm like, I'm, I'm talking a lot less than like ideally I would. I, at least I feel like I have been. Um, I think it's because I'm pretty sure I was like sick yesterday, and I'm like still kind of sick today. Like not super sick, but like mildly sick enough that it like is affecting my brain. <laughs> People got smacked upside the head. <laughs> Holy shit! All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna umbrella this dude. You seem kind of, you seem a little tired. Yeah, no, I definitely, I'm, I'm definitely tired. Even if I'm not sick, I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I'm sick and tired. <laughs> I'm sick and tired. What's even the point of shaking down guys as broke as us? For real though, neither of you saw them transform? Not even a little bit? Huh? I, I swear they freaking transformed! <laughs> He's got Your imagination is He has got gamer gunk up. all in his brain. But it seems so real. Uh, how could it just be imagination? I mean, as long as we win, I don't care how delusional. He has got a you serious are. case of you gamer know, I brain. I think it's just all that hero talk of yours. Makes you see trolls and golems everywhere. You think I'm crazy, don't you? Well, as far as I'm concerned, it takes a certain kind of crazy to want to be a hero anyway. Hell, uh -huh. I don't care if you wear chainmail around town. You, you call me crazy. Like give you some oomph in a fight. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I will. All right, fellow adventurers. Our great journey has begun! That's what happens when you play too much Simigami Tensei. Well, for him specifically, it was uh, Dragon Quest. Kasuga's job changed to hero. Enemies throughout the city will change their appearance according to Kasuga's wild imagination. Oh, sure, Mr. Hero. Lead on to the bountiful coffers of Hello Work. Yeah, this party is sorely lacking in coin. Pretty soon we won't be able to afford any booze. <laughs> I mean, uh, mm, medicinal. 
I love how much they humor him on his gamer gunk, you know? Just like in Dragon Quest. Life really is an RPG when you think about it. Life, yeah. Life really is an RPG. You level up. Run out of money. Okay, let me, uh... Oh, I think I already have this one. Get in? No. Wait! Oh, shit! Oh, there is a... Oh! I can. I can. I think I can. I think I can. Haha! -ha, hello work! Got it. You only get one game over. Yeah. Life's like an RPG, but this one's permadeath. Hello work, huh? I'd rather say goodbye to the outside world. But my mom keeps pressuring me to do something with myself. Nice. Are you a shit. gamer too? Oh, they're gonna beat the shit out of us. Oh god. Boy. You spend all your money on claw machine monkeys like an RPG too. <laughs> How'd it go for you guys? <sighs> yeah, I'm fucked. Another day and no work. Same here. Damn it. Oh my god, it's this fucking bicycle! Matsuo might have taken the cake, but a lot of these people are pretty rough around the edges. Okay. What do you expect? Finding work isn't easy these days. Well, don't let it get to you. Just gotta be patient. Eh? Wait, isn't that a dachi? You're right! It's a dachi! Friends of yours. <sighs> no. I can't say I remember them. <laughs> like hell you don't! You ruined our lives! I'm just gonna give all them the same voice. Did I? Take it, I arrested you at one point or another. You aren't allowed to forget the Yokohama Pink Panthers, Ichincho's top burglary ring! <laughs> oh yeah, that takes me back, man. How long has it been since I busted you guys? 20 years? Here, yeah, we got criminal records now, asshole! Now we can't even work! You're gonna take some responsibility for that! Hold on! <laughs> hey! It's not a Dutchie's fault you guys got busted. Huh? You a cat, bro? <laughs> no, just here to find some work. Hey. Come on, let's leave these guys to stew and get out of here. Boy. Hold on, Adachi. Why are you looking for work? Because I lost my job at the station, obviously. Huh? You quit? That means you can't arrest us no more, right? <laughs> no matter how many times we hit you. Uh oh. It's the Pink Panthers. <sighs> you that bent on revenge? Why not put that kind of effort into your job, hun? <laughs> what a boomer. Shut the hell up! We'll beat the shit out of all three of you! Ba -ba what if it's just the. Start snapping. Alright. Uh, Pitch Dude, that takes him down quick. Oh shit! I thought I was going. I should probably look at the turn order. <laughs> What? <laughs> he fucking he dropped. Oh, that really. I couldn't even block that. It really caught me off guard. He fucking dropped. Damn it. Oh, I can't. I am. I'm too tired for timing attacks. Oh, this is gonna be real rough. I'm sorry, y'all. It's gonna be rough tonight. <laughs> Say right after two perfect guards. I, you know, you yeah, know. Um. I'm just gonna use the normal attack. These guys do not take hits very well. <laughs> Stay down, motherfucker! Oh shit, he's on the bike! Get him off of there! Going up. Oh, my stats going up. Hell yeah. <laughs> Look at me go. I get I get so pumped about his I feel my stats going up line. Damn you. 
We'll get you back for this. Don't you forget us this time. Yeah, na 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 na. I talk about taking it personally. Oh yeah. You arrested so many people, you don't even remember what they all look like, Adachi son. It's all ancient history now. I didn't have to deal with shit like that while I wore a badge. Or if that's gonna be the new norm. <sighs> well, you do deserve it. <laughs> Real. I don't want to be anywhere near you then. <laughs> Let him come. I'll take as many as they can throw at me. Well, hello work awaits. More like hello jerk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna knock over the bicycle too. Hmm? Tenyan. Tenyan. It's Tenyan. Wow. I started when I looked under a vending machine. I was looking for anything, maybe some money. I went and found a coin underneath, and it reads 10 yen. Yes. <laughs> 10 yen! <laughs> yeah. The name's Ichiban Kasuga, 42 years old. I'm strong, I've got a home, and I need a job. Help a guy out. All right, tone it down. No need for theatrics. Huh? Weren't you... the janitor? No. Oh, aren't you that homeless guy I sent over to the bar for a side quest? I mean, gig? So, you've got a roof over your head now, huh? Thanks. All thanks to that job you helped us get. Glad to hear it. So, why are you on that side now? What do you mean? This was my job. Director? Cut! <laughs> You're the director of this place. Director? Think you can find some work for us? Mm -hmm. Oh, you made some friends? Yeah, my party's got three people in it now. <laughs> Party, huh? <laughs> you play games, Kasuga-kun? Yeah, I'm a big Dragon Quest fan. Dragon Quest? That's a good one. I play it my- Holy shit, this dude's a gamer too! I forgot! Anyway, let's see what jobs we have for this hero at his, uh, ret ret retinue here. I don't know how to say that. We're in your debt, good sir. That said, I just want to warn you, I made an exception last time. I was trying to see if the couple of homeless guys could stand on their own feet. But now that we're doing this legitimately, I have to follow the rules. What rules? The golden rule. I can only assign you jobs that you're qualified for. Even in Dragon Quest, some jobs are locked until the character reaches a certain level of skill, right? Think of it like that. Life is just a big RPG when you get down to it. Sure. So what would our current experience level let us change into? Hmm. An ex-con, a bum, and a fired cop? Here's the best I can do for you right now. <laughs> Fucking nothing. <laughs> get out. I mean, yeah, the, 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 the gamer speak in this game is incredible. A special bathhouse? Oh. So, so plint. Hey. Hold on. Maybe that's the best you can get these two, but I've got years of service to lean on. According to your documentation, you've never been married? What's that got to do with anything? Telling me you've gone this long as a lonely, single, smelly man without resorting to paying for it? Seems right up your alley. Just you smelly? How dare you? I mean, it's not even that illegal. Anyway, you boys need to build up some work history. I don't think this bathhouse gig is gonna be a walk in the park. The owner there is a little eccentric. It's totally up to him if he takes you on board. Good luck. Hey. I love boards. Okay, let's go nail this board. I mean, interview. Do I have the- okay, so, yeah, I, I was gonna see if that unlocked the- the feature that Hello Work serves later in the game, but I guess not yet. Let's go! Yeah! Okay, um, there's like a few things we can do. So, there's like, 
There's like sub stories we can check out. We can explore a little bit more now. Like things haven't like fully opened up yet. Uh, like there's a lot of stuff that we haven't unlocked, but uh, we can kind of fuck around for a little bit. Um, I don't yeah, I don't know if I want to go right there just yet. Let's go down here and kind of like unlock this portion of the map. Hiya! Fight, fight, fight! Do you know about the contest winners who are NPCs in this game? I did not know about that. That sounds fucking awesome. Oh, bye. Bye! See ya! Oh, and then see ya never! Oh no, fuck, he survived. Fuck. <laughs> Hit him. Hit him. Oh yeah, so this is activating a sub story. Uh, the sub stories activate Whoa. when you get near what the them. What the going on there? This is a freaking dump. One man's trash. Uh, supposedly it's a pawn shop. Huh? Pawn shop? Looks more like a hoarder's house. Are they really getting customers like that? Hmm. I've never seen anyone buy anything from here. It's such an eyesore. Officials from the public office have had to come talk with the owner a couple times now. The owner said it was all merchandise, and that he'd sue if they tried anything. They haven't been able to reach an agreement since. Some shitty merchandise. merchandise <laughs> huh? Oh, it smells terrible, and it attracts all sorts of bugs too. I wouldn't it's buy that with Monopoly oh, money. I wish they do something about it. Definitely would be rough to have this in the neighborhood. Hopefully it won't be long. Okay. So we can elect to continue that whenever. Where is it? Not somewhere. I think when we when we unlock a part of the map that's visibly in it, it'll be like a like a blue uh, speech bubble that tells us it's like a continuing sub story. And the white ones are new ones. Don't think that guy's being totally honest about his merchandise. You may be onto something there. I don't know. Bum, 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 bum. Get him! <laughs> Get him, number! <laughs> Shit! Oh, oh no. Okay. Wait, come on. No, oh, you're positioning yourself wrong. Oh, yeah, come on. Come back. Come back. Come back this way. There we go. That's what I want. Yeah! Very nice. Yeah, the the dub for this game is extremely good. Like, I mean, I, I haven't played with the uh, with the Japanese audio, but um, I mean, I I I did not regret my choice to initially play with the dub whatsoever. Oh, we're back at Hello World. We just oh yeah. Oh hey, there's the oh. I guess I guess if we yeah okay we leave and then the continuation reactivates. So if we want to continue that merchandise sub story, we gotta go over there again. Uh, but not now. Is there anything... You know what? I'll kind of work my way towards the... story thing. Oh, you know what? Actually, yeah, I'm gonna go down here, because we're about to... Between spider and man. Have some real monkey money. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Uh, we're about to unlock something really fucking fun, and it's a mission that I have desperately been wanting y'all to see. <laughs> Just had to unlock it. There we go. All right. Hmm? <laughs> no! Who's that Sujimon? Jeez! The hell's up with this guy? 
<sighs> Just another crazy off the streets. Nothing out of the ordinary. Okay, guys, let's do this. Roger. Suspicious man. <laughs> we became susceptible to status ailments. Okay. Um. Let's get him with the belch. Burn him! Burn him! Burn him! Damn it. All right. Uh Let's go. One fight. Okay. Cool. Got it. Nice. No, no, no. No! Fuck. Let's go. I was yeah. silenced. I'm up. Gotta get it. Wham! Awakening dragon. Is it? Oh, cool. Level 10. Neato. Man, what was his problem? I swear. Sometimes this city gets uglier and uglier every step. Uh, you'll get used to it. I'd really rather not. <laughs> ah, looks like we've got ourselves quite the specimen. Huh? I knew I'd run into an unclassified sooner or later. Now let's see what data you're hiding. Scientific name. What should that be? Hmm. Turncoat titillator should do it. <laughs> God damn it. Hey, what are you doing? Huh? Oh, sorry. I've been tracking a rare specimen around here, and I might have gotten a little carried away. You're what? Some kind of researcher? Yes, the name's Professor Morikasa, but most people call me the Sujiman Sensei. <laughs> Sujiman Sensei? What is that exactly? <laughs> I catch your interest? How about you swing by my lab? I can explain more there. And as thanks for helping me subdue that specimen, I'll make you some tea or snacks or whatever you like. Well, that sounds fucking great. That let's do it. Great. <laughs> hey, Ichima, let's go. Oh. oh. Doesn't he seem a little sketchy to you? You won't make it in this city if you bite the hand that feeds you. Besides, I take free over sketchy every day. Hell yeah. Well, let's get a move on. <sighs> Fine. This place I call the Sujimon Center. The it's Sujimon a fully Center. functional research lab. You mean your fully random office room? Anyway, you came here to learn about Sujimon, did you? Allow me to explain. Sujimon are monsters of men that make you super jittery, but super jittery men didn't have much of a ring to it. Hence, Sujimon. <laughs> Okay, sure, it's a stretch, but all you need to know is that they're the definition of bad. Society needed a concept for men that give you the creeps and attack without warning, and that's a so Don't forget the hyphen between spider yeah, and man. Oh, around the touch to Hold on, I'm sorry, I have to... <laughs> I do it. I'm sorry. For the sake of world peace. World peace? Think about it. This planet teems with all manner of degenerates and criminals. Just take a look around you. Now tell me, how many bad guys are out there wandering around? And how are they classified? Can you give me an answer? Um, not when you put it that way. Indeed. When people ask themselves, what kind of bad guys are out there? How can I identify them? They're generally left to wonder. And because they're left wondering, they go up to one of these bad guys out of sheer curiosity and often end up paying the <laughs> ultimate price. That's why I'm recording who these monsters are and where they make their habitat. By doing so, I can raise the impact on society by keeping people out of harm's way. That makes sense. Guess it takes a sketchy scientist to research sketchy people. <laughs> what made you decide to do this in the first place? Let's just say I had a rough past. 
The takeaway here is that I'm contributing to a peaceful world, and I take that very seriously. So, how much data have you collected so far? The thing is, every time I run into a bad guy, they always rush over to beat me down before I can gather data. <laughs> you might say that's hampered progress. Yeah, I bet that would. <sighs> I'm at my limit here. If only I could find an honest, maybe even slightly <laughs> reckless guy who wouldn't shy away from random enemy encounters <laughs> or getting his hands dirty. Oh, I fucking love this. That's me, that's me! That's well, me! Hope you find your guy. What's wrong, Nando? <laughs> Come on. Hear me out for a minute. What? Don't tell me you want us to collect a bunch of weirdo data. You hit the nail on the head, buddy. Now, I'm not asking you to go fight everyone you see. All I need is a little battle data whenever a battle does happen. Besides, I imagine two tough guys like yourselves get into brawls fairly regularly. Yes? So, I was thinking... Why not gather data while you're at? Who's not tough? Easier said than <laughs> Who's done. not tough in the group? Perhaps. It's not bad, isn't it? God damn it. Says, Sujimon Encyclopedia is what this world needs. How about I throw in some completion rewards? Oh, now I see those ears perk up. You hear that? A studi, I guess I do like completion rewards. <laughs> Fine, we'll do it. Me. This really does help society. I guess we all reap the benefits. Exactly. Glad you understand. Let's hop to it then. So, how do we go about recording your data anyway? Ah, that's simple. This custom application I made does all of the work. The Sujidex app. <laughs> As for how it operates, well... I think a live demonstration might best get you up to speed. Hey, time to earn your keep. <laughs> <You're co> <laughs> <laughs> who are these goons? <laughs> Let's just say they're assistants who specialize yes! in keep work. Now, what's your favorite color? I can't. Red, I'm fucking. Blue, I still. Green. I still cannot fucking believe this. I'm it's not too sure good. Where you're going with this, but. <laughs> I'm doing the red one. Let's go with red. <laughs> okay, then. Red it is. All right. You two, give red here some backup. <laughs> now, give them a taste. Fucking of screen laughing. No, yeah, when I... Huh? Oh, my God. When I first saw this, I lost yes, my mind. In fact, I do. Every time you wallop an enemy, the Suji Dex app kicks in. It yeah, you know, I'm glad Game Freak really started to experiment with Pokemon again. That's freaking nuts. Gentlemen, I choose you. Get ready for a <laughs> on battle. Shut the fuck up. Hey, hey, hey. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Nice! Oh shit! <laughs> what the fuck? No! <laughs> I didn't know it was gonna reach all the way over here! I just really felt like it shouldn't have. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, 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 please! Fuck. No, no, not again! <laughs> No, not the dulcet tones. All right. Don't get cocky. You're in it now. Have fun with this. Revenge. Watch this. Oh, get him. Ah, oh, fuck. All right. Uh, maybe I can. No, that won't work. Oh, maybe I can. Oh, get over here. Wait, get closer. Get closer. Get closer. Get closer. I want to like reach him by getting this guy. Oh, I did it! I did it! Oh, fuck yeah! Okay, come up. Nice. No, no, no! Okay. Have 
Hell yeah, you do. <laughs> Impressive. What is this fucking really walking on sunshine? The right people for this I'm walking job. on sunshine. Keep that up and you'll be the best. Uh, like no one ever was. God damn it. I fucking you. forgot. So where's Shut the data? Up. Right. Why don't you tap that app and see for yourself? <laughs> Yeah, so now we have the Suji Dex. <laughs> That's the idea. Defeat lots of Sujimon, collect lots of data. And as promised, I'll reward you for the job. Expect to get some emails as you hit completion miles. Yeah, so they managed to oh, double whammy oh, a Pokemon well, parody side quest so we might as well give with we're in no position to be picky. Justifying yeah, right. a bestiary Don't in forget, universe the for your battles. On you. It's so fucking you cool. Dispatch them all. Literally then the most hilarious the thing. Next master. <laughs> That's like challenge one. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so this is our mission. Uh, do I want to... Let's check down here for a sec. Oh, vending, vending, hmm? treasure hunt. Nothing. How lame. They really do not give a single fuck about subtlety. Well, they start, and then it, I I love it because it's like it's like they they start a little bit subtle, and then as they keep going, for anyone who has not got it yet, they just keep getting more and more obvious and like like heavy-handed with the references. It's so fucking funny. Like, at a certain point, they're just like, okay, if you don't get it now, <laughs> then we'll say this line. Ready when you are. Ready when you are. You good, like, you good, dude? You need, like, some water or something? All right. Oh, I should start building my Suji decks. Let's go. Here's a big group. Oh shit! Oh, we got three of them. Oh fuck! Oh, I'm oh I'm way too far away. Get get over there, Nova. Get over there. Watch this. How about this? Oh, wait, can I really mega swing here? Okay. Oh, that really... That that did numbers. Holy shit. Don't. Don't do it. Hell yeah. Fuck you, idiot. You're a fucking dumbass. Now you're dead. Because of it. I'm up. Bye! Moving up in the world. Strange as a gem, I wish more people in the Western side of things could pay more attention to it. Well, I mean with the with with this game and Yakuza Zero, and I'm pretty sure Judgment also did okay at least. Um I mean, I think people are really getting into it. I mean, I know with this game really caught my attention, um, like big time. So I'd say it's getting there. I'd say we're definitely uh, seeing it become a little bit more uh, accessible to 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 some more people. Just in terms of like understanding that it's worth playing and that you know it has more to offer than you might think it does. Because like I I I. Like, 
my thing is that I before I played this, I didn't know Mizuki -san? this Your series was like it was. I was picturing okay. a completely different room, kind of game before I actually played this. Front desk. The faucet stuck. Well, just use the same bath water for the next customer. Yeah, I know it's dirty. Just use a bath bomb. They're behind the sink. Make it cloudy enough, we'll notice. Hello, this is Uh no, you you do not have to have played any of the previous oh, games to play this one. Nanaha chan. This one is a new story entirely. Hmm. Oh really? So you're taking the day off. But didn't you have your period two weeks ago? Hmm. You're missing too much work. And if your excuses are true, you should get that checked out. I mean, it sounds like a serious medical issue. <laughs> and if it keeps you out of work, how are you going to pay for your dear old dad's care? Yeah, huh? that's <laughs> so. This is Rigby regular show. Seems like your life would be easier if he just died already. Dude, uh, I guess that's out of your control. <laughs> what the fuck? Are you crying? Oh, come on! I only say these things because I'm your boss. I can't be your therapist too. But come back in as soon as you feel better, okay? Bye. <sighs> I tell you, girls these days. So, you folks are here about the job we posted, I assume? Sorry. I don't think I want to be employed here. Ditto. Not a fan of anything I just heard. You out too, Kasuga? <sighs> so... You came all the way here just to insult me in my place of business? I'll have you know, Hello Work practically begged me to hire you three. They told me you'd be willing to do anything. I don't care what they told you. We've still got <laughs> principles. Yeah, I'm grateful that Kanbei put in a good word, but uh, I pass. Plenty of other jobs out there. Let's go, Ichiban. <laughs> Fucking deck, huh? No, I literally just downloaded this picture. <laughs> I don't know if you heard me typing, but that's what I was doing. What's the hold up? Come on, let's go. <laughs> you heard him on the phone, didn't you? Well, I've been to my share of back alley soap lands, but this guy's got to be the worst I've ever seen. The girls don't deserve that kind of treatment. Huh. Hey, is there a problem? You better not cause any trouble here. I'll call the Yakuza. We're with the Seiryu clan, you know? The Seiryu clan? You really sure you want to start something? <laughs> this is Seiryu clan territory? <clears throat> well, this just got complicated. <sighs> hey, Kasuga, we need a scram. Uh, well, why Come are you on. looking at me like that? I'll call them. I will. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'll take the job. I'll start anytime you want, boss. Huh? Wait, wait, what are you doing? <laughs> Listen to my mind. Based on what I just heard, you got a lot of issues here, from plumbing to personnel. <sighs> you need a hand, and I've got 16 years of direct experience in this industry. I know what works <laughs> in these places, and I can even go scout some fresh talent for you. What do you say? Y yeah, but what about those two? Prostitution's gotta go! No more eating jobs! <laughs> Such a big fuck. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> oh, what's that sound? <laughs> hey, a group of pests called Bleach Japan. I can't believe they're already back. Same guys as the other day. They've been demonstrating in front of my shop for a few days in a row now. Like clockwork, it's a pain in the ass! Oh. They're specifically targeting you at these protests? Well... We're the last place in the area that's open about being a bathhouse. The others have all rebranded as men's salons or bubble massages. That makes it hard for Bleach Japan to build a case against them. So they come after us since we're still open about being a soapland. They think if they can close me down, it'll start a shockwave and clean out the rest of the area. Oh, by the way, it's a fun fact. Did you know that, um, a literally, mom, damn it, I was just gonna say that. Rigby, Rigby's VA is also uh, Doc Ock in the Spider-Man game. It's fucking great. The range on that guy. <laughs> hey, 
Am I lucky or what? Listen. And the Yakuza won't protect you? I tried complaining to the Serial Clan once. They had some lame excuse, then they showed up after everything had quieted down. Besides, Bleach Japan's ranks are filled with the types who read up on anti-Yakuza laws for the fun of it. Those kind of people are tough for even the Yakuza to deal with. It's the Yakuza for you. So if I can't go to the Yakuza, and I can't go to the police, who do I turn to? Well, damn. Well, damn. <laughs> even my employees are quitting to avoid being harassed. I'm at the end of my rope over here. Right. So that's why you're under theft. But basically, you're saying as long as the girls stick around, you still run your business. That said, between Bleach Japan and the way you treat them, I wouldn't count on them sticking around either. <laughs> you don't get it at all. Girls who come here to work already have their backs against the wall. Girls who work here are all Japanese, but they're in the same situations as an immigrant who came here to get away from whatever it may be. Losing a job like this may as well be deportation. Got no one to go back to or rel I don't know if I, I don't know if I fully agree with. I don't, I don't, okay. I don't know. I feel like it's maybe a false equivalence. <laughs> I get the sentiment, but uh, I don't know if you need to go there to. Yep. <laughs> uh, yep. <laughs> of course, eh, a lot of people who come get tempted to this side of things because it sounds lucrative. But those are the types who think they'll strike it rich without doing any real work. As soon as things take a turn for the worse, they run for the hills. That's why I only hire women so far out on ledge that can't afford to take another step back. Jesus Christ. Oh, this guy fucking sucks. I... Women like that work their lives... Work like their lives depend on, and that's what keeps my business stable. Hey. Stable my ass. Just taking advantage of women at their lowest. You're the scum of the earth. Say what you will, but lust weighs on the soul just as heavy as hunger, if not more so. Except with lust, you can't just satiate it at your local deli. You have to hold it until you find an outlet. So long as women are willing to be on the menu, men are going to place orders. That's the world we live in. I... <laughs> Sup. Sup. Whatever. If we drive that guy off, will you hire us or not? Yo. Kasuga, after everything the slimeball just said, you still want to work here? I certainly don't. This guy's nothing like Hamako. The world would be better off if we let Bleach Japan take him down. Shut up, it's work. And I can't afford to turn that down. Bro. <laughs> I'll take your job and I'll get it done right. You gonna hire us or not? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Prostitution is illegal in Japan, yet this establishment is flaunting it in broad daylight. I'm gonna do a, do a Ben Shapiro voice. Hey. Working hard as ever, huh? What? Yeah, you guys, from the other day. Why are you here? Oh, as of today, we're employees. Employees, huh? My friends. The accomplices of criminals, the purveyors of prostitution, have made themselves known. I'm sorry, criminals? If that was the case, why aren't we getting arrested? Because Soplins are dodging the laws by registering themselves as public bathhouses. My friends, this is what we call a gray zone, the dark stains on Japan. Let us turn this gray to white. Let's bleach it out. Yo. And what about you? Think you're some kind of pure and clean soul yourself? Never committed a single crime? True. Of course, I obey the law. That's the obligation of every righteous citizen. So you've never even, like, taken a whiz outside? That's technically a crime, you know? No. Never once. Not in my life. Not even hypothetically. <sighs> Seriously? What about speeding? Everyone's gone over the speed limit because they were running late. Nope, not a single time. Hey. You liar. It's illegal to go even one kilometer per hour over the limit. You have to have done that. Afraid not? If you doubt me, then prove it. Prove I've committed these crimes. Yo. Okay, how about what you're doing right now? All these people blocking the road has got to be some kind of crime, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you're so ignorant. It's funny. And I know funny. 
We have permits from the Kanagawa police for this demonstration. Ugh. Yeah, a permit to march on a public road. <laughs> Do you get it now? The police have been magnanimous enough to let us use this road for our cause. Where you're standing now isn't technically the road. That's the Soapland. Oh! Oh, get him! Chich! I just got a little overzealous. Also, it says here that there's only supposed to be ten of you. Hey, I'm no mathematician, but this looks like more than that. We just got more support than usual today. That's the nature of a protest. The number of people can fluctuate up until the day of. If you don't like it, file a police report. But I wouldn't get your hopes up about them coming out to do any headcounts. The difference between 10 or 15 people isn't worth their time, and it's certainly not causing any trouble. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the right track, Kasuka. In that case, I got a warning for you. The legal definition of a march means you're not allowed to stop moving. You stop and start giving speeches, that's obstructing traffic. Your right to use this road was predicated on you performing a march. So the fact that you're stopped here is a pretty clear violation. <laughs> Even if that's technically the rule, every protest stops to give speeches. And the police are fine so, with that. You know what you call that? A gray zone. Relying on a gray area to side to criticize a gray zone. Man, that's irony. My friends, uh, let's keep going. We're marching. Fucking it, checkmate atheist. Prostitution's gotta go, no more yet, all that. Watch where you're going or you'll trip. It's fucking funny. Yeah, let's see. First, we have Ichiban Kasuga, age 42. Oh. Address is. Oh! Isn't this the one Hamako runs? Yes. Yeah. We're living on the second floor. You know Hamako-san? Yeah, a bit. From years ago. Anyway, next is Yu Nanba, age 41. Huh? Huh? Yu Nanba? You mean Nanba was your real name this whole time? After that whole speech you gave me about homeless people using fake names. Uh, shut up. You believed it was fake, and that's what's important. Just gullible. What was that? Um, what? Okay, okay. And the last guy is Koichi Arachi, who's... Wait, age 59? You old motherfucker! Yes. Yeah. Only had two months to go until I have retirement. Yeah, but the Kanagawa police let me go a few days ago. Yeah, it's rough. What? Oh, that's all. What's all? No. I mean, we're a walking trio of red flags, aren't we? A bum, an ex-Yakuza, and a cop with a dishonorable discharge? What of it? If I was worried about stuff like that, I'd never find anyone to work for me. And besides, I just happen to have the perfect job for you three. What? And that's it? I hope you're not gonna make us clean the bass to kick things off. Nah, I only get that done every six months. What I'm really after is her. Her name's Nanoha. She's been my top earner for five years straight. That's the girl who called to take the day off and you blew up at her, right? Yep. Yeah, that's right. Mm. I'm a bitch. She's your top earner, huh? Yeah, you weren't kidding about these girls being on the... Uh, never mind. I told you, if all you've got going for you is being cute and wrong, you'll never last. The core of a Soapland's appeal is service and love. It's emotional depth that makes a repeat customer. Okay. Emotions, huh? I guess I could see that. Men are lonely creatures when it comes down to it. Even guys who put up the toughest fronts need a place to be who they really are. And the depth of a woman's ability to give him that is usually proportional to her own back. Shut the fuck up! Oh, I hate this shit. This is like, I, this is like the the part of the game that's the hardest to stomach for me. I will, like, admittedly, I love, like, the rest of this game. It's so fucking good. This whole section is, like, just shut up. <laughs> like, across the board. It's so fucking gross. Uh, anyway. Nanoha's father is of an age where he can't move on his own as anymore. I really fucked that up. So she quit her job at a big firm and fell into this world to afford him the best of care. Wow. Skipping all the stuff between a white-collar job and prostitution is a pretty brave leap. Yep. That's why she's so good at it. She gives it everything she has, no matter who the customer is. All for the sake of her father. But that being said, 
she's recently started finding reasons to take days off. Mm. This never used to be the case, though. Between Bleach Japan and Nanawa taking days off, sales are really slumping. So that's why I need a hand. What? A hand? Like, on the customers? Uh, listen. Nah. No, you idiot. I want you to look into why she's taking time off. Didn't she say herself it was because of an irregular period? I can't take that at face value. She's a woman. <laughs> Sorry. That's what he's like. That's what he's like. There are a lot of reasons why someone who needs money starts taking a lot of time off. I think she's got a side piece. Mm-hmm. You do know this industry, don't you? Care to fill in the class? Yeah. It means she could be meeting someone without going through the store. Normally, a customer pays for the service, and that money gets divided up between the girl and the shop. But if they meet in private, the girl can offer a discount but still come out on top by cutting the shop out. Once they start doing that, girls start to wonder why they need the shop in the first place. Of course, all the shops have strict rules against that kind of thing. That was a weird line read. Yeah, good for her. Even if it's just an innocent thing at first, once they get a taste for the extra cash, it doesn't stop. They'll even start using the shop to lure more customers out into their own business. It's the death knell for some shops. So I want you to find out if she's seeing someone on the side. What's up? Okay, let's say she is. What do we do if we find the guy? Make sure he never wants to go near Nanoha again, and I don't care what methods you use. Kill him. You're <laughs> Yakuza, a nurse, and a cop. Sure you three can come up with something creative? Hold on. Hey, hold up. Shouldn't you be using the Seiryu clan for this kind of thing? Think of them like car insurance. If you use them the wrong way, they increase your premiums. So it's cheaper if I can solve problems myself. <laughs> huh. That's a boss for you. Always has a trick or two. Okay, can you tell us where nano san lives for starters? Actually, it seems she's been couch surfing for a while and hasn't gone home in quite some time. Hey. How the heck do we find her then? If you keep an eye on the pocket cafe, she'll show up. She hangs out there a lot. For the price of a cup of coffee, she can stay for hours to use the free Wi-Fi and charge her phone. See you later. See you later. <laughs> oh, for the fifth. Get her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Back in regularly. Oh, that was... <laughs> sometimes, sometimes the voice lines just don't fucking work. Sounds to me like he hired us as cheat detectives. Hmm. None of me is quite a schemer. He seems sloppy. But he knows his employees both on and off the clock. He's doing it on purpose. He's good. <sighs> Doesn't mean he's not a scumbag. His bottom line's all he cares about. No. I don't think so, actually. Huh? Maybe it's not true all the time, but... Yeah, most Soplins profit off their workers' misfortunes. You mean like their debt or their family issues? They prey on people like that, right? Basically. The women work hard to get out of that situation, and the shop supports them. I'm not cool with the way Nanamiya talks about people, but he's not sugarcoating anything either. He understands the reality of the business. Hmm. Well, that's one way of putting it. I grew up surrounded by every kind of sleazebag comrade you could throw in those doors. And I'd bet this guy's actually got a lot of love for- <laughs> Shut up! No, I- Again, this is like the roughest- Cause like, no! Clearly, no, like, <laughs> the, the, like the problem. So the problem here is that, okay. So the, so the problem here with me, the problem for me about this bit is that, uh, they, the, the story turns at a certain point from this like foundation into something that kind of like ties into everything else. Right. So it's like the reason why this part of the story exists is to set up the next like bit of stuff that will, you know, kind of snowball into the more like acceptable shit later. My problem is that they it feels like they didn't do much work to actually like find a like realistic way these characters would like go along with this part of it. Because the whole the whole thing we've established about Ichivan up until this point is that he's like extremely fucking like aware and like he seems like generally like class conscious compared to some of the other characters and like i don't know like <laughs> like it's just really fucking weird how much he's like cool with 
the way this dude like talks about his employees and shit. Like his whole thing up until this point has been like honor and like fairness and like like you know he like gives a shit about people. And so like yeah, it's like really fucking weird how this kind of comes out of nowhere and he's like suddenly like cool with like this in particular just so that we can kind of like justify where it goes later. Um fortunately this bit of it doesn't last super long, uh, if I remember correctly. Uh, so, you know, we don't have to deal with it too much. Uh, but... And, like, everything past this point is still fucking, like, great. Like, okay. it, it gets more tolerable pretty quickly, uh, just relative to the length of everything. But, like, yeah, this I, I don't like this bit. <laughs> like, this is the shit, really. Uh, this part sucks. <laughs> Let's start with the cafe she supposedly goes to. Okay. Uh. Ba, 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 ba. Did you grow up in a similar environment, or at least grew up hearing a lot of that stuff already? Granted, the soap land owner was much kinder. Yeah. Well, like I, like, I get they like introduce reasons, like in justifications for it, and like they like kind of make sense, but not entirely. Just given the fact that like. I don't know. He just seems like somebody who would not want to fuck with somebody who like talks so like like harshly about about his like his his employees and shit. Like like I don't like like the kind of the kind of like rhetoric that the Soapland owner and the Bleach Japan guy <laughs> both spew is like weirdly similar in tone and in like regard for like humanity. So, and like and the fact that he takes such issue with with the way that the Bleach Japan guys talk about their shit and he doesn't with the way that this guy operates his business, like it doesn't add up to me. It like feels like a really weak justification that just comes out of nowhere. Yeah, like and and that's the thing, right? Yeah, Money Max, exactly. Why did they have to make this dude like a scumbag? <laughs> right? Like, I get you're trying to like add different flavors of characters to your game, but like this story, I, I shit you not, would have functioned almost exactly the same if he was like not a shitty person. <laughs> like if the if the Soplin donor was like a little bit okay. Like it it just wouldn't it wouldn't change much, just based on what I remember, at least. So I really don't get it. It like this comes out of nowhere. But again, thank you, it does, it does uh, change course pretty quickly. So we'll get through it. We'll get through it together. I appreciate your patience. This game is really good, I swear. <laughs> Uh, don't wanna, I wanna, hold on, I'm gonna explore a little bit. Let me grab this taxi, that'll help. There's a problem with the entire series has, to be honest, is not just this game. There's almost always one character who is betrayed as a huge scumbag that gets a free pass because they secretly have a heart of gold. I think it's meant to be an anyone can be redeemed, don't judge a book by its cover thing, but it never works. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't, I haven't played the other one, so I can't vouch for them, but it especially doesn't work here. They, like, do no work into, like, improving this guy. I mean, like, like, he gets, like, nicer a little bit in the future scenes, but he is so viscerally unpleasant in that first scene. That like it does it like the you don't like the flavor doesn't fucking leave by the time he's like nicer in the later ones. And it's not even like anything really like happens to change him or anything. He just kind of like they just kind of accept that like he is a dick, but he's also kind, and then you see him like kind of okay for the rest of his time in the game. <laughs> it's really fucking weird. It's really weird. Okay. 
What is that little, um... That's a game of some kind. <laughs> Let me through! Okay. What is this? Oh! Sorry, boys. <laughs> I'll leave you to it. What is this? Welcome, what would you like to do today? Oh, the shochu cup. Nothing. Are you showing, are you grabbing the change people left in vending machines? No, we're, we're grabbing anything we find under the machines. Whether it be change or anything else. What's in here? Bum ba dum bum bum. Bum ba dum bum 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 ba dum bum 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 ba dum bum 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 ba dum bum bum. I wanna, I wanna see the outside. The building, first floor. What is that little, like fox-looking icon? It must be this. Oh, oh, it's Sujimon. Oh my God, I have never. Like actually re-entered the Sujimon lab <laughs> in 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 either playthrough. Or well, I guess I only did one before this one. I never re-entered it. Is this one of Yakuza Zero a better starting point? Um Okay, well it depends. So there's two there's two things. Zero is a better starting point if you if you wanna play Well, I don't know. I I'm just gonna say, this is my- I- I've played, like, a little bit of Zero, and I fucking love this game. I haven't finished Zero, even got very far at all. Um, like, like, I got, like, an hour or two in, but, like, that's not a lot at all. Um, yeah, Yakuza Zero is the first- Yakuza Zero is the best place to start, I would say, if you have interest in, like, wanting to play the other ones before this game, but future games in the series, past Like a Dragon onward, are gonna be in this gameplay style. They're gonna be turn-based RPGs from here on out. So if you wanna start with the new characters and then uh, like wanna play the future games, I would say you're totally cool to start with this one uh, and just like get accustomed with this gameplay style so you're on board for the future games that come out. And then at any point you can go back and play the other ones. And then yeah, start with zero then. So whichever sounds the best to you, I would say go with. Uh, because they are different gameplay styles, and one of them is going to be turn-based in the future. Um, and the other one is is a relic of the past at this point, and also a relic of judgment. The other, uh, the, the spin-off series. Is Avengers tie-in game for the Kinect? Uh, is there? I have to look this up. I mean, I don't have a Kinect, so it wouldn't be a part of the Avengers Kinect. Marvel Avengers better. Oh, it's not MCU. It's not MCU, though. It's not an MCU game. It's an Avengers game, but it's not an MCU game. So it doesn't count. I appreciate it, though. Also, like, I don't have a Kinect, so I don't know if I'd be able to play it anyway. Okay, we'll fight. We'll beat the shit out of you. Why not? Hands thrower. <laughs> Alright, uh... go. Especially I remember that game because it made my brother cry out of frustration. Sounds like a Kinect game. That, that tracks. Oh god. I'm not good at blocking. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Embarrassing myself on the internet. Love the enemy names in this game. Yeah, they're fun. They're fun. They're, they're the Sujimon names. Oh shit! Yeah, get him! Get him! The Kinect is still a thing. No, it is not. Uh, it used to be a thing and they made games for it. Oh, fuck! 
Oh my god. I didn't I did not realize he was so close to dying. Well, hold on. Do I have a revive of any kind? I don't. Oh my god. I need to like I need to buy some shit. I have nothing. Yes, that is the first knockout, which is weird for me because like I I didn't I didn't get knocked out this early in my first playthrough. I guess I, I'm just having a tough time paying attention right now. There we go. That'll do it. Yes. <laughs> I leveled up. <laughs> I'm dead, but I leveled up. Okay, let's um, let's hit up a fucking. Oh hey, it's a cafe anyway. Let's go there. Because it's like you have to release a dashino. No. Oh my god, there's one mini game. I'm so excited to get to. Uh, it shouldn't be too far into the game. I remember it happening pretty quickly. Mm. Uh, but it's it's my favorite one in the whole game. Well. Mm. I don't know if I should say that so definitively. It's one of my favorite ones in the whole game. Like, top three for sure. No, 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 no. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, shit. No. <laughs> oh, fuck. I just... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Uh, hold on. Let me... Let me get you, bud. Let me get you. Holy shit, that was so funny. <laughs> they are weak. <laughs> Quite literally. Hey, find out the sidewalk. So we're gonna Oh, cool! Um, that one actually took that trophy took me a very long time to get in my first playthrough. So that's super that's super lucky. Oh, all right. That was okay. That's okay. Could have been better. Oh, oh man. Uh, Ichi needs more heals. Yes, he is attacking me with a die with a giant bottle. Yep. Cool. Check this out. Uh, what is he? <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, he's dancing to the music. Oh. Okay. All right. Don't get cocky. And over an item, lowering their defense. Huh? I'm gonna try the pitiful look. Anything works. Yeah. Hey! Uh, obtained a used cheap plastic. Okay. Let's go in it now. Get him, get him. Bye! It's nice that they give you both PS4 and 5 versions of the game. I agree. I wish they put the time in to get the save transfer figured out. Uh, because I really would have liked to finish this game without having to restart. Although I guess I'm happy that I'm streaming it. It, it worked out, I guess. Because I was going to replay it anyway. Damn. Uh, it's full. on stream probably at some point. Hey, look over there. That's a woman, right? That's Nanaha. Let's get some answers. Yeah, out. have you not? I seriously <laughs> doubt she'd ever admit to it. We should only interrogate her after we have proof. I say we trust the former detective on this one. Fine. Sorry, we're full right now. Oh, I'm meeting someone inside. He's sitting down with Nanoha. Maybe I told I told him that we're inside. meeting together. I don't know. I know you don't actually know me, but I just really wanted to get inside. Let's try an eavesdrop on their conversation. How do we do that? We can't hear anything out here. I got this. Kasuga, call me on your phone. Okay. Uh, 
<laughs> I love that. That jingle. I'm very sorry, but we're full right now. Oh, please, can I just use the bathroom? Oh, seriously, man, I'm about to piss myself. Uh, sure. Then piss. Go ahead. I mean, I mean, go ahead. I'm sorry. I don't know what got into me. <laughs> yeah. Sorry you had Slick. to come all the way out here. What oh, the reception is insane. Are you alright? You look really tired. Oh, it's my health problems. <laughs> These days. We should get down to it. First of all, the money. He said money. He's gotta be her other man. Hold your horses. Let's see the transaction go down. forgot they could be here on the other end. I mean, it seems like they did. You just hear, holy shit, from the phone in the plant. Obscure information here doesn't really track for me. <laughs> this is not how phones work. I'd like to see him one last time. I'm getting some kind of plot interference. But I feel so you no, know, it's actually get a better phone. Please. I understand your concerns. Yeah, you know, he he gave us his good phone earlier. He's actually a really nice guy. He gave us the good phone. He kept the shitty one that he was gonna give us. Until he realized that we were so down on our luck. There was two million. Nothing to sneeze at. But you You think Nanoha-san's wrapped up in something bad? Like what? I don't know. I just have to ask her and find out. Oh hey! Ow! Uh, sorry. Hey, old man. Apologies don't fix much, you know. Yeah. How are you gonna make this Not that old. I'm forty. Come on, not this shit. <laughs> sorry, we're in a hurry. If you don't got time to do the right thing, get out your wallet and hand us a couple grand. This is the first alone, episode man. of Better Call Saul. See ya. Not so fast. He was more of a glass most favorite skin, yeah. Cool. Alright. I don't have any... anything. <laughs> uh, yeah, no MP things either. Hi, Devon! Overlord Devon, ready with a party of 70. Hi, Devon! How's it going? Uh, thank you so much for the raid. Uh, we're playing Yakuza Like a Dragon. I'm still pretty early into the game. This is the second stream that I've done of this. Um, huh? hell yeah. Thank you, Devon. How'd your stream go? I hope you're doing well. I'm out of MP, so I'm just gonna beat the shit out of him with my bat. That's cool with everybody. Bye! Yeah, that's cool with me. That's pretty... I'm actually really cool with that. Damn it. You gotta get lucky with the position. Hi, Penny. I dropped them into more 7 because the stream slaps. Hope you're doing well. Oh, were you playing 7 too? Were you playing this game? That's awesome. If so. Also, I am doing I am doing quite well, Devon. Thank you. 
This game is so good. Yeah, so I, I mean, I've played um, most of it. I've seen like a, I keep saying it, but like about two thirds of the story um, on my own time. But I had to restart my file on PS5, so uh, I, I decided to stream the new file and uh, eventually finish it if I can. So, uh, you know, only only so much of this will be like my reactions to the game, uh, which is why I have chat on screen so that we can get the reaction element from chat at the very least for those who haven't seen it. Um, and... Uh, yeah, but at a certain point, I mean, if I end up sticking with this long enough, at a certain point, we will, like, cross the threshold into, um, into, uh, an area that I haven't seen before, so. I, like, I'm very inspired to keep it going for that reason. Look at me go. Essentially, for those familiar with the game, there's a point in the game where you have to raise a bunch of money, and that's where I stopped. I didn't stop because of it, but that's just kind of that ended up being where I quit the first time. Oh shit! Bad time to get interrupted. Where's Nanua? <laughs> Nowhere in sight, huh? Uh, we lost her. What should we do? Head back to the Soapland? Yeah, even if we did, we wouldn't have anything to report. Yo. Hey. It's a guy. Wanna follow him? Yeah. Yeah. It'd be our ticket. <laughs> yeah, he looks, he looks kind of like G-Man. He gives us some G-Man vibes, at least from a distance. Yeah, wait, Itachi! Grab your phone! No, you know what? It kind of fucking sucked anyway. Never mind. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Duber. Yeah, same brain. That phone was shit. A social welfare corporation? Sounds like an old folks home. Pretty classy building, huh? It's from the Meiji era, as I recall. It used to be a bank. But I thought some non-profit foundation bought it decades ago. We had a minute. Sure looks luxurious for a non-profit. <laughs> I can smell the money from out here. Okay, so I used the I used my last bit of minutes for this for, for this uh, recon mission, yeah, so I'm just gonna leave it there. Maybe this is where he's being taken care of, and also maybe that man she met at the cafe is employed here. And then it would all make sense. She's paying that guy to keep her dad in a nice place. It's hardly shady. I don't care how classy the joint is. Nobody would pay two mil in cash. Plus, why well, would she got pay it? her dad's rent at a cafe? Yeah, that's a good point. Remember what they said when we eavesdropped? She begged to see her dad, and it didn't move him at all. He just said no. Yes, this is the front desk of Sunlight Castle. Uh, is there a man living here with a daughter named Nanoha? Do you mean Nanoha Mukoda? Yes, her father is a resident here. How may I help you? We work with Nanoha at the same place of business. Can we come in? I'm sorry, but only family are allowed to visit. That was pretty Okay, well then I'm her brother. We're not here to see him, actually. The truth is, I'm looking for a home for my own father. Nanoha-san said your facility Our is co great, can so we come in? I wanted to check it out. I'm terribly sorry. You can't come inside unless accompanied by a current lessee. Lessee? Really? Yes. Lassie. If you wish to explore the layouts of our rooms, please visit our homepage online. You can submit questions on that page as well. It's very convenient. Goodbye. They don't even let you tour a room? Something's definitely shady about this place. I'm Slim Shade. Say you're looking for a retirement home for Adachi. I'll kill you. 
I'll kill you twice. All right. Um. All right. All right. Um. All right is what I just said. Oh, we gotta go all the way back over here. But uh, we have all this place to explore now. Let's go. Return to Orohime Land. Oh boy. All right. Uh. There is a. Uh... I'm gonna. Is there a food place around here? I'm gonna I'm gonna explore until I find some food. No, actually, no. I I wasn't looking for a food place. I was looking for an item shop. Let's go to uh, Yijing Tang. Wahoo! Oh. Technique booster. What is that? <laughs> you just have a paper plate. <laughs> Increase your base dexterity value. Oh, absolutely. I will take it. Just give it to Kasuga. Enemies are so high. <laughs> yeah, no, I get. Yeah, actually, this is a pretty late game area, I think. So I'll be, I'll be sure to play it safe if I can. Oh, la chatte blanche. I'll have your finest purse, please. Uh, 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 got a Get the fuck out! If you're not here to support me... Uh, it's killing me. So Sorry, ma'am. I gotta beat the shit out of my friend. Get over here! <laughs> Whoop! Don't make any noise. You're making noise. Shut the fuck up. Oh. <laughs> okay, they're crossing the street. All right. We might be able to make it. Oh, did I pass the safe? Eh, I'll go back. I'll be back here later. It's fine. Oh, look at that. Taxi! Taxi! <laughs> saying, saying taxi like that one vine of the kid saying pussy. Taxi! <laughs> Let's go. All right, what's up? I need some shit. You only have ice cream? I don't, oh, gee, oh, yeah, it's an ice cream shop, I guess. I do- I- uh, Gonna be real, I do really fucking love how the item shops are, like, contextual to where you find them in the world. I think that's so fun and cool. A little inconvenient sometimes, but really fucking cool. I wouldn't trade it for all the convenience in the world. Uh, it adds to the role-playing aspect. <laughs> <laughs> you find the ice cream shop. What do you mean you only have ice cream? Um, ooh, mango pudding. That sounds pretty. I'll get one of those. Because that's like, that's like big boy recovery. Um, this is small boy recovery. We'll get a few of these. I don't know if I want ten of those. I'll get five of these. And five of these. Oh, this wasn't even the place I wanted to go to. Oh, there's a restaurant we can go to. Oh, yeah, I could use some recovery right away. Let's do that. Restaurant, restaurant, restaurant. Oh, yeah, let me in. Food, please. I'll take some food, please. Someone like to give me some food, please? Hey, I'll take some food. Hey, would you like to... Hey, you got food here? Looks like you got food here. I'll take some food. Hey, has anyone got food on them? Hey, can I have your food? No, okay, you're not eating food. You're not eating food either. Why is no one having food in this place? It looks like they got food here. Oh, well, if no one else is having food, then I'll take some. Give me some food, please. Yes, <laughs> you'll see. Order the recommendation or select from the menu. I'll just, I'll just order the recommendation for now. I'm doing it for recovery only. Who's hungry? Me. 
<laughs> mm, tasty. Love that. Endlessly charming. Get the fuck out of here! What are you doing? Those guys are fucking three stoogesing around the place. Okay. Uh, let's taxi to Rose Blossom. I uh, taking the taxi. Run, 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 run. Okay. Get the fuck in. Get the fuck in. Oh, we did it. Hell yeah. Oh, just made it. Whee! Please take one. Oh shit. <laughs> A trip to Pound Town. Hey, what you got there? Who knows? An app for a sex shop or something. Nothing a couple of penniless mooks like us need to worry about. Oh, hold the phone. It says the first person to call gets free service. What? That sounds way too good to be true. They'll find some way to squeeze money out of you. I guarantee. Yeah, well, uh, we won't know until we call. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love this shit. Born out of soap land. It's a scam. Hey, now, things might have changed while you were locked up. Give it here. Yo, hold on. First this unlocks a very good feature. <laughs> snooze, you lose. How can I help you? Yeah, hi. Uh, saw your ad. Said something about the first caller being free. Oh, yes! Thank you! The music. You are the very first, so this one is indeed on us. <laughs> all right! And, uh, you're, you're sure it won't cost anything? Nope, nothing at all. Now may I please have your name and... I'm beginning to understand how I thought she ended oh, up in the right. retirement it's, money. Uh, Koichi yeah. Adachi, and right now I'm kind of near Ohama Street. That place can be quite dangerous, too. Understood. I'll send over our most popular employee right away. Your most popular? <laughs> oh, you guys really go all out for this first free caller thing, huh? We want you to know how great we are. Now then, we have them en route to your location. Huh? Well, you're sending someone to me? Like, not a hotel or something? Wait, is this one of those meet-up deals? So, how'd it go? <laughs> Get this. They're sending their most popular girl over here for free. Whoa, really? No, oh, really, I swear. <laughs> Sex shops will do anything to stay competitive. They said she'd be here soon. Sorry for the wait. Huh? <laughs> Muscular man. <gasps> what the? Who the heck are you? Are you, uh, Adachi-sama? Uh, yeah, that's me. Sorry for the wait. I'm Gary Buster Gary Holmes. Buster Holmes. Poundmates. Poundmates? Is, is that a sex shop? <laughs> no, no. Poundmates sends people to help you fight. To help us fight? Hey! You <laughs> shitheads are making Speaking way too of... much noise! Speaking of... <laughs> <laughs> Literally any justification at all to get us into a fight. A Fucking love it. Punks, just in time for your first call. Okay, I don't know what's going on here, but let's go, Kasuga. Yeah. Come on. All right, let's get these suspicious men. Poundmates are powerful allies with a wide range of abilities, but calling them in, they, calling them in costs money. The price depends on the pound mate, although your first call to each pound mate is free. <laughs> so our first one is Gary Buster Holmes. We get a free call with Gary. Call on the service of a muscle-bound champion to pound enemies into oblivion, occasionally stunning those who survive. Mace hands. In service with the founding. 
Yeah, it's a, so it's a summon. Holy shit. Thanks for calling pound me. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck him up, Gary. Absolutely love it. I love this feature so much. Holy shit. They're too strong. Now, for the finish. Sudden death or suds on breasts? What's it gonna be? <laughs> We're sorry! Your free trial is over. Next time will cost money. Looking forward to it. Yeah, sure. Okay, then. Good yeah, I, I don't... I don't understand what that means, but you know what? We'll just... We'll deal. We'll deal. What the hell just happened here? If I know, man, why is it gotta be so hard to get laid? <laughs> well, I mean, too, but I'm not sure it's sexy, but I think I can see the appeal. <laughs> Hell yeah. So we will be getting more of those as the game goes. There's one in particular I'm very excited about. Anything fun around here? Oh, okay. Oh, oh shit! Oh, server safe! Should I open it? Yeah. Got it! Woohoo! I can use this key to open up safes. I should probably keep an eye out for these safes if I find any more keys. Wahoo! All right. What's up, Brigby? Don't forget the hyphen between spider and man. I love this game, so I'm gonna catch the replay later. But I wanted to say thanks for streaming it. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. K every month, even on Soapland wages. How the hell can she afford that? And take a look at this. They've got a program called the Excellent Course. Entry fee 20 million? Then a million a month? What in the actual fuck? <laughs> yeah, I hope that's one good VIP room. Mm. Don't tell me her dad's enrolled in the Excellent Course. I can't imagine he is. Oh, <laughs> I could see Nanoha signing him up for the most expensive option. She'd totally do that. Her father is... The only family she has. He's the reason she got a job at a big corporation. And he's the reason she works for me now. He raised her all by himself. He means everything to her. It doesn't surprise me at all that she'd pay any price to keep him comfortable. I mean, I knew she put him somewhere expensive, but this is just crazy. No matter how much you love someone, you've got to set some boundaries. I'm starting to think this was never about a guy she was dating. You wanted us to investigate her because you were worried about her. Am I right? Yes, I was worried. I worry about all my employees. But once they clock out, I can't help them. And I hate that. Especially the girls who have such troubled pasts. You never know if they're doing okay or not. That's why I'm strict about how much time they take off. Not because I'm a I shitty worry. boss. <laughs> So you have a good reason to keep them working so much. Yeah, that's yeah, that's you it. I have a good reason. Just yeah. A huge asshole. I guess you can stop your investigation now. She might be putting herself in danger, but if she's doing it for her dad, I really have no right to interfere. It's her life. In any case, I don't think she's seeing anyone on the side. No? I mean, when we saw her today, she looked miserable. She was definitely telling you the truth when she said she wasn't feeling good. My guess is she's suffering from a ton of stress. <laughs> Attention to detail, I had to flip him around. <laughs> oh, I think it's something else. <laughs> <laughs> Not 
Shadow is her father's guarantor. Oh shit, shit. I'm sure of that. It doesn't make any sense that she wouldn't be allowed to see him. I still dragged it off screen. You guys saw her pay two million to a rep from the home? Maybe that wasn't the entire bill. Maybe <laughs> she still owes them money. <laughs> and until she pays, they won't let her see her dad. That's fucked up. Yeah, but it might be true. Nationwide, more than one out of every five people is elderly. And there are lots of crooked businesses trying to cash in on that. Even if an establishment looks legit on the surface, you never know what might be lurking underneath. I think I know what happened. They accepted her dad, told her she could pay the entry fee in installments, and then once he moved in, they wouldn't let her see him until she paid it off in full. Why pull that shit? Just to get her to pay it off quicker. They don't care what she has to do to earn it. They just want their money as soon as possible. That's just... so cruel. Plenty of bastards in the world who do it without a second thought. No wonder her health is bad. Who could deal with that kind of pressure? <sighs> and by taking time off, she'll lose income. She'll end up being late on her payments. <laughs> Damn. At that rate, she'll never get to see her dad. Nope. And there's another thing that could happen that's even worse. What's that? <laughs> Depending on what the contract says, if she misses a payment, they could kick her dad out and not return any of her money. After she's been working herself to the bone just to pay them? And honestly, who the hell knows if they're really providing good care in that place? Hardly anyone's allowed inside, so there's no oversight. That sounds to me like they can do whatever they damn well please. Even to the residents who are paid up. I don't understand how they get away with this shit. to understand it. All that matters is saving Nanoha's dad. Boss, we can't save him. There's no way. Sure, we all want to, but... I mean, they won't even let the guy's own daughter in. The place is pretty much on lockdown. I just don't see a way around that. I think I see a way around it. What? Boss, you okay with us working a second job? Uh, huh? The three of us could work at Sunlight Castle for a bit. You want to infiltrate the place by getting jobs there? How do we get them to hire us? Well, we're sort of buddies with that guy Kambe over at Hello Work. Let's get him to help us. Yes! It's a great idea. I'll call Kanbe and make it happen. I think we can do this! We can save Nanoha's father! I was so focused on puppeteering, I'd like I had nothing to say. Let's <laughs> 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 run around the room. <laughs> All right, let's go. Yeah, so we gotta we gotta infiltrate this really fucking shady place. Um, yeah, back at Hello Work. All right, uh, what's this place again? P I A. I want. I need a fucking. I need a claw machine. Somewhere, anywhere. There's got to be one around here. Okay. Um. Oh, we can just use. I mean, let's not use a cap. Wait, what's this? What's this? Oh, it's a sub story. What's up? Oh hand god. Over already. Hmm? What's going on? I know which one this one is. I'm saying hand over the baby formula. You looking to lose some teeth? No, please. My baby's waiting for me. Like I give a shit. Just buy the little snot more. We need that formula right now. This, this, this is absurd. Why would the Yakuza need baby formula? Well, that dude was like on beat for a second. <gasps> Why would the Yakuza need baby formula? <laughs> I don't know what the hell's going on here, but it looks like he might need some help. Now stop up. All right. Guess I'll give him a hand. Hey, not sure what the deal is over here? That formula's his, right? Huh? Who the hell are you? 
You his buddy or something? Nah, never met the guy. Just passing through. Someone's always gotta poke their nose into this shit. <laughs> okay, fine. We'll take it by force. Look at those anime girls in the background. Non-specific Yakuza. All right. Uh, you get the pigeon raid. Just takes it and eats it all. <laughs> no, 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 no. I needed it because I was hungry. Yeah, I'm excited. This this sub story will actually get us our second uh, summon from uh, Pound Mates. So be excited about that. Be excited. No other emotions. Assholes. We won't forget this. Phew, glad that's over. Yo. Hey, you okay? Hi. Thank you. You're very kind. To think you'd even... <laughs> hey, what's wrong? Don't go crying on me. I'm sorry for breaking down like that. It's been a while since someone's been so kind to me, so... It really hit home. Nah, don't sweat it. I'm Kasuga. Arigatou gozaimasu. Masoda Oshima. Thank you for saving me. Nah, I wasn't about to leave you hanging. I'd like to give you a little something as thanks, but all I have is this baby formula. <laughs> hmm? Baby formula? That for your kid? Eh. Yes, I, I'm a newly minted father of a son. He's a cute little guy too. There's all sorts of things you need when you have a kid, and I figured I should start saving up for the future. So I've been working my butt off day and night. Yeah. Well, I'm single, so I don't know much about all that. But don't overwork yourself. Well, won't do much good if you're dead. Kind of you to say so, kasuga -san. My wife would never say something like that. Your wife? Mm. Yes. She's been a bitch. I mean, pretty cold to me lately. I'll come home from a long shift and she won't even say hi. She used to be so sweet to me. She even did all the cooking and cleaning and what have you. But lately, she's been having me do the housework. I'll tell her I'm really tired from work, but all I get is that you have no idea how hard it is to raise a child. She's always blowing a fuse. Uh, oh, I don't understand. We should be in sync when it comes to our kid, right? I just want my son to be happy. Sounds like he could use some advice. Have a heart-to-heart -heart with your wife, idiot. Hey, it's important to work hard, but has your wife ever said she wants you to do that? Mm -hmm. Huh? No, I guess I never asked, <laughs> divorcer. Still, you've got to have money, right? Yeah, of course. I imagine having a baby's pretty tough. I mean, his whole future's in your hands, and you can't even understand what you're saying yet. He's a stupid fucking idiot, dumbass baby who doesn't even know words yet. So shitty and stupid. Sure, work can be tough, but I bet there's some kind of emotional struggle going on, too. Emotional struggle? Yeah. Being a parent's a huge responsibility. Shouldering that responsibility by yourself's probably a lot. Hmm? I'm sure you want someone to listen. Sa safe to say your wife wants that from you. Just like how you came to me for advice yourself. You're really something, Kasuga-san. For a single guy, you sure know a whole lot about parenting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I never had parents. I was born in a, a massage parlor, so I was raised by the staff there. As I got older, I learned about all the people who took care of me. You know, changed my diapers or whatever. Maybe it's thanks to them. Is that right? To have been born at a massage parlor? I guess people can come from just about anywhere. The idea of facing my wife, though, just the thought alone scares me. You hear that? Could it be? It's coming from in here. You think it's just like you, kasuka san There's no way. Mm. Birthing a child in a place without proper care is dangerous. We should step in and help. Mm. Sure, but... What the hell are we going to do besides get in the way? Good point. Uh, I know! 
Let's make this baby formula and bring it to them. We don't know if the baby can drink the mother's milk yet. That means we're gonna need some hot water. Oh, and once the water cools off a little, we might even be able to help wash the baby. Think you can handle the water, Kasuga-san? As for me, I think there were some towels left over at my work. So I'll go grab those. Where am I supposed to get hot water? Let's meet up back here. I'm leaving it to you, Kasuga-san. Huh? Hey! I feel like I got the short end of the stick here. Okay, hot water. Right. Try cafe. Such a noble quest, yeah. We gotta, we gotta fucking hurry up though. There's a fucking baby in there. <laughs> it's weird that they, they have you do like a side thing, when the urgency of a, of a lone baby. Is so is as urgent as it is. So let's fucking go. <laughs> this is so silly. Yeah, the, yeah, the sub stories are. Silly. Oh wait, no, that's fucking. That's a. That's a. Oh god. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Oh, I'm a. I'm a. I'm a dumbass. Hold on. That was a fucking. Oh, Pocky Cafe. There we go. Up there. Up there. I was following the damn uh marker for my whatever the fuck story. Huh. No, I gotta run. I gotta run. There's a baby. Okay. <laughs> You're in it now. Oh, can I not run yet? Oh, yeah, yeah, I can. Hold on. Let's get out of here. I actually don't want to do this fight. No, damn it! I ran into something! <laughs> if you run into something, it cancels your run. Okay, fine. I'll just beat the shit out of them. Really overkill on this. <laughs> oh, damn it! If I run into something, it also cancels my run, to be fair. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Not gonna lie, when you said hey in your Costco voice, the line you gotta give me your gun just played my head. <laughs> yeah, my, uh, my Costco voice is very similar to my Ethan voice. They're very, uh, they're, they're, I mean, well, they're, it's a similar, like, dumbass protag voice, now that I think about it. Just like, like, a, a earnest dumbass protagonist or is, is how you could, like, generally describe both of them in a way that, like, sort of shared qualities. Oh my god. Okay, keep walking. We're just gonna, you know, we're not gonna. Should I get some water? <laughs> yeah, just a guy in a situation. <laughs> yeah. I think just by virtue of being Yakuza and also having gone to jail for 18 years, uh, Ichi is a, a little bit more uh, experienced than yes, the likes of Ethan, who uh, is just a fucking guy who, like, maybe has some military... Oh, like, he does have military training, but um, not, not because he elected to. Uh, I'll order the recommendation, but that's not... Necessarily what I'm supposed to be doing. Who's hungry? hungry? Me. Me. Tasty. <laughs> hey. There we go. I need hot water for that baby. Maybe I can ask for some. Sup. Hey. Sup. Hey, there's been a childbirth in your buy-in. They need some hot water. Think I could trouble you for some? It's quite serious. I'll prep some right away. Wait just a moment. Sure. Thanks. Ma'am, can I have hot water for a baby, please? All right, got the hot water. Better get back to Oshima. What if I just... <laughs> Wait. Okay, <laughs> okay, I was gonna say, can I just, like, drink it? Just fucking lock, soft lock myself? I mean, I, well, I figured it wouldn't soft lock you. That seems like a massive oversight if it could, but... I, I was I was gonna I was gonna see if I could drink it and then like do another dialogue where he's like, oh sorry, I drank it. Can I have another one? <laughs> oh. 
Ma'am, I accidentally just drinky hot water. May I have some more, please? Oh, wait. Oh, fuck. I just ran right past it. I was looking at chat. Ma'am, there's been a childbirth nearby and they need some hot water. Could I have, some, could I have a cup of hot water, please? And she's like, oh, okay. And she like really does a kettle and like straight out of the kettle, she pours like boiling water. He just grabs it and goes, thanks. Oh, oh. Could I have another one? Also, hi, Alfred. How's it going? How's it going, bud? You're just in time. We're about to help this baby. kaska san I'm already on my end. Did you get the hot water? Yeah. Yeah. I got it right here. Hot water and towels. Perfect. Let's go. Hey, are you all right? Is there anything we can do to... Huh? <laughs> It's a good thing we got that hot water in time. Okay, time for Baba. What the? Alfred, you're just in time. We're about to help a baby with some hot water. You're the fuckers with the baby formula. It's a dude who threatened Oshima. What the hell's going on? Sorry to bother you, boys. Uh, yo, let's go. <laughs> yes, <goodbye. laughs> boys. Sorry to bother you, boys. Not so fast, chief. This baby's got a foul mouth. Yeah, what the fuck? You got balls stepping into my big comfy crib. <laughs> Think you can waltz in here and spoil our fun? Oh, God, this is fucking ridiculous. Oh, I gotta oh, click there. <laughs> Thank you. Pacify Let's pacify this bitch. Gundawara family. Okay. Well, <laughs> this is the this is a very very good battle arena uh, for this. Okay. All right. All right. Oh shit. No. Oh, that's the wrong one. Fuck. Okay, um... Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, I have not- I have not done anything on the... There's... No, why did I use Pigeon on that guy? Fuck. <laughs> I have a poopy Titan Jack. Oh, gross. Okay. What the hell is happening? Oh, you know. Just a normal. We got twenty thousand yen for that shit. Yeah, it's Yakuza. Not bad. Uh, apologies for barging in here, but this this is all just. A I, I thought it was it was very clear. Huh? I'm listening. Well, actually. I get it. You thought my crying was from a real baby. Just a misunderstanding. Yes, really just you know. Sorry for ruining your uh, fun. No, no, I wasn't aware. I'm the one who's sorry. <laughs> what a reasonable guy. Huh? These days, a crying baby's more likely to get scowls than anything else. To think you'd do that for a baby you don't even know. What are your names? Ichiban Kasuga. 
Uh, Masato Oshima. I see. Fine names, both of you. My name's Susumu Gondawara. Seems my men trouble you for some baby formula. Boys, get these two some new baby formula on the double. Yes, sir. <laughs> Is Dude's the patriarch? Here I was thinking I saw everything the Yakuza world had to offer. Well, hey, you fucking interrupted me. Baby formula. Please, no, no need to trouble yourselves. I step out of the house for a quick errand and I'm gone for an eternity. My wife's gonna kill me. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. You'll just be a little late. <laughs> Your old lady that scary? Mm, no, she's just <laughs> choosing not to trust it. Listen, do what you gotta do, you know? Our child. But we're just having a we're just having an adult conversation me. here. Masato-chan, do you understand how hard it is to raise a kid? Have you ever bothered to help your wife, <laughs> even just a little? Fuck yeah, girl boss moments. What? Like just holding a baby is a lot of work. You have to support their neck until they can keep their head up on their own. Lots to look out for, no matter how small the task. Babies are weak, delicate creatures. Very <laughs> fragile. You can't blame your wife for being a little stressed out. Huh. That's right. Saya-chan's telling the truth. When us babies get our milk, we gotta burn. <laughs> we need a little backpack. <laughs> There's all yeah. sorts of shit like that. Now that you mention it, she is always doing those things. When they start crying in the middle of the night, I have no clue why, nor do I know how to stop it. <laughs> so hey, Side quest is everything. Doesn't matter if it's the middle of the night. We'll cry when we feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I see. <laughs> I'm not gonna live here. I was jealous of how she got to sleep while I was out working all night. Your wife probably hasn't had a decent night's sleep since the little one came into the picture, you know? And even if she does get a sec to rest, you never know when she's gonna have to get back up. Sounds pretty freaking exhausting. Oh. Masato-chan, you should sit down and talk with your wife. I'm sure it's hard for both of you, but your relationship is really weird after school special. Right now, because neither of you have taken the time to hear each other out. You're right. I guess at some point I started to think I was the one having the tougher time, but I never thought about how my wife was feeling. I'm gonna talk to my wife when I get home. I'll make sure we raise our kid right. Hell yeah. I'm a father after all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the spirit. Just don't try to do everything yourself. Family's got to support one another. Go on. Hurry back to your wife and make things right. You got this baby's approval. So I'm sure you'll do just <laughs> right. Good damn it. Thank you. Well, I'll be going now. Best of luck. Well, all's well that ends well, I guess. You bet. Uh, boss, sorry we're late. We bought the formula. Ooh. <laughs> well then, why don't we drink to the man who became a proper father? <laughs> Join us, <laughs> huh? Me? That's right. No need to be shy. Just gonna have a drink with the- just a fucking cold one with the boys. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. What Why the hell not? We're yeah, just hanging out. Baby. Fuck yeah, chug it. Ah, it's not me. Well, yeah, you know. It's God's work. Good shit, ain't it? Yeah, ain't half bad. Right, right, boys. Two more baby bottles. Room temp. Room temp. Uh, yes, sir. Now, I could get into this. Enjoy this second bottle, good and proper. Huh? Boys, get this man a diaper. Yes, sir. Oh shit. Yo, hold up! I didn't say shit about wearing a. Hey, the <laughs> hell, man! Let me go. Yo, if you don't cut it out, I'll... Oh. What's that? Oh. What's the... Oh. I do... I do... <laughs> yeah! We got our second summon. What'd I tell ya? 
excited about it and no other emotions. I, I do, you know, I do appreciate, I gotta say, I really appreciate and enjoy how, um, how, how subtle the, the close, the end to that was. Off screen, we hear, we hear him say, no, I'm not gonna, oh, in such a contemplative way. What happened in there? You know, like what happened in there? I, like, I kind of, I want the director's cut. I want to see the rest. But also, ah, but I do kind of like the artistic integrity of leaving it open, you know? It's just, it's one of those things where it's like, you can tell, it, it's, you can't, it's, it's hard to argue the director's vision because the director, like, you know, purely endorsed the original cut, but then, like, the bonus scenes are, you know, they were filmed for a reason, so at some point, uh, you know, they must have thought that, like, maybe it was worth showing, but... Who knows? We'll see. Yeah, give us the diaper cut. <laughs> I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say it so clearly, but you know, it's what the public hmm? wants. <laughs> like a dragon is truly the killing joke of video games. Oh yeah, I remember. Uh, I remember when they released The Killing Joke as an animated movie, uh, and like the second half was accurate to the comic, but the first half, they just had like a really weird, like added original storyline of Batman like discovering his like diaper interest. That was, that was like, it was, it was interesting. It was an interesting choice. I didn't totally get it. I can see why people have an issue with it. Doesn't matter if you want to work there, I can't just invent jobs. Especially not Sunlight Castle. That's a fancy that's a fancy retirement home with best in class staff. Also, why do you smell like pee-pee? They wouldn't even post openings through Hello Work. And also, why do you smell like pee? -pee? So you're saying you can't get us jobs there? Sorry, but no. Damn. Damn. Well, I can't get you directly employed by Sunlight Castle, but there might be a way as contractors. Hmm? Contractors? So. Their full-time staff doesn't do a lot of the menial jobs. The caretakers are employees. But they go through a temp agency for the rest. It's an agency exclusively for caretakers. Wow. So if I can get on that list, I'll be able to get into Sunlight Castle? Not even contractors are going to get in if they have all of zero experience. That rules out Kasuga-kun, of course. Adachi-san, too. Unless you're hiding caretaker work. Man, doesn't get my hopes up like that. Or oh, wait, did I read that right? I really, I don't. I was reading chat at the same time. I didn't. But Nanbasan, huh? you have potential, huh? Me? Why him? Nanbasan, your resume says you're an ex-nurse. It's the kind of experience they look for. You could get into Sunlight Castle pretty easily. <laughs> oh, nice. Adachi-san used to be with the police. Then how about this? Hey, you got an idea? You could leverage your police experience. A security guard post might be a shoe in I can introduce you to the company that runs Sunlight Castle Security. Yeah. Yeah. Security's right up my alley. I got this. Wait a sec. I'm the only one left in the cold? There's got to be an agency for me, too. Hmm. Kazuka-san, you're an ex-Yakuza, so... Mm, Yakuza in retirement homes, well... Mm. Oh, what about this? Hey, Sunny. Don't recall seeing you around. Are you new? Yeah. I'm from a temp agency. Yeah. <laughs> Nanba. How nice to have a new doctor. The time skip is fun. Wonderful. Actually, I'm a nursing assistant. And just temporarily. You say you do physical therapy? <laughs> Sounds fun. Um, listen, Granny. Let me ask you. Well, there's a guy living here named Bokoda. You know him by any chance? He's pretty old. Has a daughter. Oh. What time are we having breakfast? Um, well, it's already past noon. <laughs> Here is fine. Thank you, officer. That's a fine time to have breakfast. 
Hey, did you find anything out? Nope. I haven't seen any guys who are likely to be Nanoha's dad. I gotta say, the care in this place actually seems pretty damn good. There's plenty of staff. Their medical equipment is top-notch. Uh, they've got a security system, and guards, too. They ain't skimping on safety. How many times do I have to tell you? I want these toilets so clean! You I want these toilets so them. clean! Yeah, let your mother drink out of them. Put some elbow grease into it for Put some day. elbow grease Don't into it! <laughs> I love that voice. Why am I the only one on toilet duty? <laughs> Why do you think? Well, you're not qualified to do anything else. Did you find her dad? Nah, not even the lead. You find anything? The only thing I've seen all morning is toilets. That woman's a slave driver. Maybe her dad's in a special room for the excellent course residents. Oh yeah. That I kinda like that color on Ichi. Program. Am I the only one? Doubtful. I I, I, if, if, more about I would love to see him wear like a jacket, that kind of color, you know? Requirements. I don't think she would have met them. For example, you have to do a bunch of interviews to qualify. Interviews? Maybe he's just a handsome yeah. boy in whatever know exactly he wears, what you know? Ask, but I bet it's all about your family and social standing. A rumor has it program only lets in big shots from the financial sector so even if she had the money i don't think she would pass the interviews still none of us have seen this special room yet right <sighs> no because how are we supposed to do that well, obviously they're gonna have their best security on the excellent course residents i heard only full-time staff are allowed to work with that clientele but where the hell are those residents kept top floor and to get up there you need one of the full timers key cards. Hey! Quit chatting and get back to work! <laughs> yes, ma'am, right away. Good work. Bet you didn't know toilet cleaning could take up a whole day, did you? So many toilets. <laughs> That's what you need in a place this big. You're going to have to pick up the pants I'm sick tomorrow. of toilets. Maybe those diaper guys are <laughs> on something. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Fuck, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. We still need to do uh, the top floor, don't we? That floor is for excellent course residents. It's, uh... Here, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, here's Rick Vegan. <laughs> Forget his name, here's Rick Vegan. <laughs> Uh, you remember, remember Rigby? Remember, hey, let's go. <laughs> oh, damn it. I, I think I forgot something in the bathroom. Mind if I go get it? Fine, but get it together. You're a mess. I'm so sorry. Uh, you can go on ahead and I'll catch up, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, just hurry up. It's like a teacher distracts her students with a puppet. <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name's Rigby Raccoon. Here to say, don't throw blocks at Miss Willisby. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. This is like actually pretty important plot shit. No need to be scared, ma'am. Just relax. Oh yeah, I hate this. God. It'll be over soon. Good night now. Oh, this makes you so fucking sad. What the hell? <laughs> fucking 
germa thing face. Can't. Can't do that. Oh, no. Hey, guys. Oh, no, I have to read. I can't do Rigby. I'm sorry. Hey, guys. Okay. Yo, Kasuka. You're late. Putting some extra polish on those bathrooms. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Wait, where's Nanba? Still working, I guess. Wasn't expecting you guys to take this job so seriously. That said, gotta find some info or some proof pretty soon. Yeah, I saw something weird at the excellent room, though. <gasps> huh? You got up there? What was weird? Hey, guys. I'm so tired I could just die right here. Well, Kasuki was just saying he caught on to something suspicious. You put off dying for a few more minutes? Hold on. I can't. I know I'm being a baby, but can we save it until tomorrow? I'm tired as fuck. Want me to come in early tomorrow. This old woman just passed away, so I have to do all this crazy stuff. What was that? What? What is it? What's that? The woman with the purple hair? Yeah. How did you know? It's crazy to even think this, but it has to be. That woman was killed in the excellent room. What? The excellent room? You sure? I didn't see it happen, but that has to be it. Why would they kill their own customers? A death just means no more income, doesn't it? No, not necessarily. You could scam their pension payments, for instance. Hmm? Pension? Yeah. Someone old dies, but you don't report their death and just keep going on with your life. You hide the body somewhere and the dead person's pension and medical insurance payments keep rolling in. Saying that institution could be stealing money? Can they do that? Yo, look at this. I checked it out. There's a safe in the back of the security room that has all the residents' bank books and seals in it. For the residents, I'm sure it's peace of mind to know they're kept under lock and key. Hmm. But if they have that stuff on hand, it's super easy to get at that money. And if someone dies, it frees up the room for the next sucker. Every time a patient dies, they increase profits. What? What the hell? I recognize those two. Huh? These guys are from the security company. How do you know them? They're both Yakuza from the family that runs this place. They're Yakuza? Hmm? Then that means... They're Seryu clan. Yep. They're from the Ryoto family, one of the families serving the Seryu clan. I remember them because they used to come by and harass my girls all the time. But about four years ago, they got their hands into another business. Another family took over my place. I've heard of Yakuza running a security company as a front before, but I've never heard of them actually being on site themselves. Hmm. Wait, what if Sunlight Castle itself is the Seryu clan's business? In that case, it would make perfect sense for them to be scamming pensions. Hey. Okay. Say they're doing this whole pension scheme. Wouldn't that mean Nanoa's dad is long dead? <sighs> no. No. Nanoa's son's dad is still alive. How do you know? Remember what Nanoa's son said when she gave the guy two million yen? You mean when you were eavesdropping on her with the phone? Yeah. Yeah. The guy who took the money said something along the lines of... Three million left to go then. If you just remit that Good amount, impression, Adachi. Ten days from now, we can start to carry out the procedure. Piecing that together, I think that means there's three million yen left, and that she has ten days before she can carry out, or before they can carry out this procedure or whatever. Oh, wait, that would mean if she doesn't pay the three mil in ten days, they'll execute her father. For real? Yeah. They're probably saying if she doesn't want him to die, then she needs to pay up. I see. So her dad's a hostage. But she's got to be able to take this to the cops. You think? The place is a Yakuza front. They've probably already got terms with the police. It's pay up or he dies. And even if he dies, the police are just going to look the other way. And then they'll bleed his pension payments dry. It's unthinkable. Damn. Damn. Hold on. Hey, hold on! How many days ago did you hear that conversation? Oh shit! Ten. Then if Odachi son's hunch is right, he's gonna be killed tomorrow? Three mil- No way Nanaho could scrape that together in the state she's in! Uh, I would lend it to her if I could. That's not the kind of money I have just lying around. 
Even if you did pay, these are Yakuza. They could double cross you in a heartbeat. Well, it's down to the wire then. We have to save him no matter what it takes. Uh huh. Her dad's probably in the excellent room. Let's do it. I'm so sorry you got dragged into something so much bigger than I hired you for, but all the same, please. You're the only ones who can help. I beg of you. <laughs> it's cool, boss. But when everyone's safe, I'll be expecting a full house bonus. Sure. Uh, okay, you got it. What's a full house bonus? Is it big? It's an old Soplin custom. If they fill the house, everybody gets a bonus. And if everyone gets a bonus, everyone from the ladies to the staff goes home happy. No bigger than usually. Well, the going rate was about 3,000 yen. What? 3,000? We gotta risk our lives for 3,000? I'll have it stuffed and ready for you when you get back, so you'd better come back alive. Alright. That's pretty serious shit. Man, tomorrow's gonna be a mess. Let's just get some rest. Hey. Hey, you wanna make a quick side trip on the way? <sighs> Where? The place I used to frequent in the bar district. You can drink and sing carry. Yeah! Here it comes! Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I got so excited. If tomorrow's gonna be messy, why not throw one back and get ready the proper way? Who's buying, though? <laughs> I told you I go there a lot. I'm sure I can just get it added to my tab. Come on, just one drink. <sighs> All right, fine. But don't you get wasted on us. I know, I know. It's the karaoke bar I thought she frequents in the bar district. All right. Uh, yeah, so I, like, I'm not even mainly excited about the karaoke. Oh my god, that's, oh yeah, it's way up here. Yeah, make a trip. Uh, let's go to Surakami Highway. Oh. Oh. From which the canes we've got it all. Come to love magic for all your adult weapon needs. <laughs> <laughs> Whips and canes, huh? Sounds painful. Might be worth swinging by. <laughs> so, yeah, that's one of the weapon shops. Is a... Uh, an adult goods store. Um, yeah, so I love, I love... I love being introduced to this place because this place is the heart of uh, some of the some of my personal favorite aspects of the game uh, Mainly just in regards to like party management and like uh, upping your like uh, relationship status with your party members um, So we'll we'll get into all that when it comes but Yeah, I'm fucking I'm very very excited about it For like leveling purposes, I really shouldn't be as avoiding this many battles, but like, I don't know. I I think it's it's because when I'm streaming, I'm in a mindset of like random encounters are more of like a waste of time than anything, because I'm like, like I I can only stream for so long. <laughs> um, I don't know. There might be something I try to adjust my mindset about if I can help it uh, moving forward, because I know, you know, yeah. Yeah, I can always grind off stream. You're absolutely right. I I'm, I might resort to that then, because yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna spend too much time in random encounters on stream. I feel like it's just not this super interesting at a certain at? point. Yep. It's just you. <laughs> yeah, such great customer service, huh? No wonder this place is always empty. This place? I only run it for fun. Kind of prefer it empty, in fact. <laughs> Bullshit. Hey there, Dachi-san. Hey, Iroha-chan. Who are your friends? Some guests of mine. Kasuga and Namba. Hey. You never bring anyone with you. In fact, is this a first? Uh, <laughs> I guess it is. Oh, is she a contest winner? Nice. That must mean you actually like them, huh? <laughs> Does she actually no. voice herself? You wouldn't catch me hanging with these knuckleheads unless I had to. <laughs> 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 
You're so cute when you're embarrassed. Uh, <laughs> give me a break. Anyway. In the, in the Japanese dub, yes. Oh, okay. Request. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Let me guess. You want me to add their drinks on your tab. <laughs> oh, you know me so well. Uh, you mind, though? I promise I'll make them come back as paying customers. Oh, good grief. You really an ex-cop? <sighs> you win this time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. All right, let's get to drinking. The karaoke bar Survive has become the new hangout spot for Kasuga and his party. Yeah! Hey, what's up with Namba? We barely get started and he passes out? He's probably just tired. Can't blame him after everything we did today. And tomorrow's only gonna be worse. But you know, for some reason... Being around you makes it feel like it'll work itself out. Oh, yeah? You must be pretty wasted if you're handing out compliments. But I'll take it. <laughs> I'm barely even feeling a buzz. Oh, <laughs> he's drunk, all right. Drunk on the rush of a hot and steamy friendship. Morgana! <laughs> Iroha-chan. That was two feet over the line, and you know it. Don't poke an old bear, huh? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't read that. Hey, it's fine. Yeah, he said bear. He said bear. That's yeah, funny. Very funny. <laughs> Koino Disco Queen CD. I'm strong on time. You can collect CDs, which you can listen to at Survive Bar. Yeah, speaking of. Hell yeah. Um, wait, question. Sh am I actually safe to do karaoke on stream? Oh, I can't right now anyway. Never mind. But I guess for later. Is, is that like a known thing? Like, is, are we good to go on that? Okay, cool. Awesome. Hmm? Come on, Kasuga. You drunk already? I can keep going if you can. Listen. Says you, your tab doesn't exactly look like it can keep going. Come on, don't be a narc. <laughs> Says the ex-cop. <laughs> Should I throw some back with the dachi? Dining and fighting alongside your companions will fill your bond gauge with them. Once it's full enough, talk to said companion and survive to trigger their special side stories called drink links. Listen to your companions' troubles and lending them a hand can greatly strengthen your bond with them. As your relationship grows and your bond level increases, so does the number of jobs and skills available to your companion. This in turn will improve their abilities and give you a huge advantage in battle. Take some time to get to know your companions, fill those bond gauges, and see what surprises each drink link has in store. Yo, adachi san What's that you're drinking? <laughs> hey, keep it down, will ya? Why? Oh, is that convenience store sake? Shh. Not to announce it to everyone and their mother. <laughs> you brought your own drink to a bar? Hell yeah. It cost an arm and a leg to get a good buzz going here. That's why I got this little lovely at a store down the street. <laughs> you ought to do the same. Show your wallet some tender loving care. Uh Rather just make my own, yeah, but I'd be upfront about it. A good drink's worth a little depth. Yeah, but I'd be upfront about it. Sure, uh, I don't mind bringing my own booze, but I wouldn't be hiding it. But then the bartender might find you out. Eh, I'd take the risk. I don't want to bother with trying to hide a drink while I'm having fun. Wish I could be so carefree. <laughs> well, now I have to buy you a drink, pal. That's what carefree people do. Hey, thanks. Woohoo, confidence, yay! Whoa, shit, oh shit! Speaking of money... They did to you was fucked up, man. Discharge right before your retirement? Ah, it ain't so bad. At least I get to know I was canned for sticking it to fucking Horonouchi. My opinion? That's better than just staying on the force and turning a blind eye. Let me see if I remember this I mean, correctly. Yeah. You and Horinouchi first crossed paths during a case 20 years ago. Yeah, it was a nasty one. 
Robbery and double homicide of some sweet old couple. My team found a suspect and made an arrest. Man by the name of Kasumi. He had a mile long rap sheet, burglaries and shit. Plus, he had no alibi for the time of the murder. But in the end, he was innocent. Yeah. I finally figured that out from his son. His son? Kasumi had a wife and kid. Kid was five years old at the time. His name was Takashi. Little guy told us he'd been on a walk with his dad at the time the homicides were committed. Of course, there's always a chance that the relatives will lie in hope of saving their family. So HQ was prepared to ignore Takashi's testimony. And I was too at first. But the more time that passed, my thoughts kept coming back around to what the little boy said. And even after Kasumi was arrested, I kept looking into it. I finally found the owner of a cigarette shop. Told me he saw Kasumi walking with Takashi at the time of the crime. Takashi's testimony was legit all along. I contacted HQ right away and requested Kasumi's release. But Horu no Uchi made sure it never happened. And he was able to do that because he was top dog at the Kanagawa police back then, right? Yeah. And don't forget, he'd just been offered a job with the Tokyo police, so... He was desperate to cover up any recent blunders like a wrongful arrest. He shipped poor Kasumi off to prison, knowing full well the man was Ugh, innocent. Goddamn. Next thing I know, Kasumi's killed himself in his cell. So Hori Nouchi was willing to sacrifice people's lives just to advance his own career. Yeah. Yeah, I'm starting to understand why you got so much beef with him. Uh, I got beef with myself too. I'm partly responsible for what happened. If only I'd believed Takashi's testimony from the start, the arrest wouldn't have happened in the first place. You don't know that for sure. No one else believed the testimony either. Yeah, but I'm the one who interviewed the kid. Let me tell you, even after all this time, I still can't forget his face. Man. But couldn't you have just leaked the fact the charges were false? You know, to the news? I gotta assume that'd be your way of atoning for Takashi-kun, right? <laughs> You're not as dumb as you look, Kasuga. That's exactly what I thought at the time. But I screwed it up. Didn't choose the right people to leak to, so... I got swept off to the license center faster than the leak got swept under the... Oh, uh, yeah, that's, that's why I was at the DMV. Worst fuck-up of my life. Don't be so hard on yourself, Adachi-san. Sorry. Really killed the mood, didn't I? <laughs> it's okay. A true friend doesn't care how many moods you kill. <laughs> You know, for an ex-Yakuza, you can say some cheesy shit, but it's sweet. What do you mean by that? Yakuza's all <laughs> about brotherhood. Well, all I know is if I'd had a brother like you on the force with me, my life might have turned out different. Ah, but if the cops were anything like me, this whole country would be fucked sideways by now. <laughs> Can't argue with that. <laughs> you weren't supposed to agree with that. <laughs> anyway. Let's have another drink. On Ichi, you. you're a good boy. You sell yourself short. Fine. Hey, bartender, can we get another round? Wahoo! Bond, level up! Tusk feels his bond with Adachi grow stronger. Adachi will now gain more experience when he is not in the active party. Wahoo! 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 <laughs> Well, it's about that time, I guess. Aw, leaving already? Oh, sorry, Iroha-chan. We got a big day tomorrow. Yo, Namba. You gonna crash on the bar or you wanna head back? <laughs> I like the vibe of this place, though. Me coming back is another thing you can count on. Sure, make yourself at home. <laughs> Nobody else does. <laughs> and listen, take care of him. Sorry? Let's just say he's not usually a happy drunk. <laughs> I guess that means he has a soft spot for you guys. Oh, really? Oh yeah, I know the guy. He's a good for nothing, but he's good at heart too. So keep your friends close, you hear? I can do that. Hey, Kasuga! What's the hold up? Let's go! Oh, sorry! Well, see you later. <laughs> 
Thanks for stopping by. Bartender, be nice to the hassle. I don't think he has many friends. Yeah. Maybe not in such certain terms, but, you know. Well, let's roll. Such a sunlight castle. All right. Now right, you get into some real shit. I am quite excited. Uh, before we do, though, I might actually take a quick break. Like, just a, just a couple minutes or so. Uh, so I will be right back. Then when I get back, we'll head to Sunlight. Sound good? All right. BRV. Hello. Welcome, 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 welcome. Hi, 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 hi. Hello, I'm back. Let's uh, let's do the let's do the thing. <laughs> I guess certain restaurants by Yokohama with your friends ordering certain combinations. Well, allow you to see what's called Table Talk Unfold. You're not going to party member will fill up your bond gauge with them. Yes! Wonderful. <laughs> hey, how's everybody doing? Uh, it took a bit longer than I wanted it to, even. Uh, so I hope it wasn't too bad of a wait. Um, but we're back into it. I'm going to do this mission. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be going tonight. Um, past the mission, I mean. Uh, because... I I hopped off stream for that break and I was like, oh, not streaming feels good in a way. <laughs> not that I'm not having fun. I'm having a fucking blast right now. I just really love this game and I love hanging out with, with everyone. So it's like, it's, it is what it is. Oh my God, we have so much monkey money. We just don't have any monkey. No, not karaoke time just yet. I'm gonna do this mission first, because I'm... I, I, I... This is a very intriguing part of the story. Um, and I'm sure people are anxious to see what happens with it. I assume, at least. Let's, uh... Let's get, yeah, let's get a marker gone. Follow your heart? Oh, I intend to. I follow my heart every day, unless it walks into spikes, in which case I can't follow it there. There's spikes. It would hurt the shit out of me. Say, <laughs> I want to be monkey. I just want to have eye eye. We still have, um. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where the fuck are my other monkeys? Oh. <laughs> okay, 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 I see how it is, I see how it is. I fucking see how it is. We're just playing the revisionism game, aren't we? Okay. All right. Okay. All right. This isn't break time. On to the next bathroom. You're even slower than yesterday. Ape escape? Ah, uh, you quit. You quit. That's clever. I'm going. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you okay? Hey, watch where you're going, janitor. Why he run like that? He's determined. That's his determination run. Hey, why are you nodding so suspiciously? <laughs> Did you take something from my pile of loose papers? Stop nodding! You're freaking me out! Hello, Director. The woman's father. His name's Tatsuro Mokoda, correct? Understood. I'll carry it out immediately. Yes. Don't worry. Yes, he's out like a light. General anesthesia.
Taking off the phone noise in the game. The sound design in general is Here very good. Go. You know, most people hope and pray that they'll die in their sleep. You're one of the lucky ones who actually gets to do it. Ugh. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Stop! Oh. Who are you? How did you get in here? Hell yeah, fuck him up! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Dakota. This is Nanoha's dad for sure. Sir, wake up. Let's get you out of here. <laughs> Look at that run. Look at that dad run across the board. Damn. I didn't waste any time. What are you doing here? Contractors aren't allowed. Explain yourselves now. Hey, calm down. Can't you recognize your own uniform? Give me a break. You're not one of us. No, we aren't. Because you're not nursing home guards. Not with that kind of weaponry. <laughs> but you've got a lot of ink underneath those uniforms. Since you're from the Seiryu clan. Huh. So, you did your homework. We know everything, man. Even what the Seiryu clan has been doing in this room. Well, good. That makes our decision easy. We'll have to kill you and the patient. And the patient. Oh! Yes. Oh shit. Yeah. Best song in the game. Yes. Oh. Oh fuck. Oh, that's not gonna work out. Oh, never mind. Wow. Let's go. Damn. Literally, we finished as soon as it got to my favorite part of the song. Let's grab her dad and get the hell out of here. <laughs> Shit slaps. Hey, what was that drug you were about to inject him with? It was potassium chloride. No, dude, it's salt. Holy fucking shit. Do you know what it does? They use it overseas for executions. The doctor was trying to kill her dad? <laughs> that must Thought that was pretty clear. <laughs> the old woman. We got to him just in time. Ich Ichiban Kasuga is a man who will circle the whole world and not realize he's taken a step. Guys, we ain't out of the woods yet. <laughs> That's the guy from the cafe. <laughs> he's killing me. Who is he? We're about to have our chance to ask him. He's coming this way. <laughs> He's cool looking. Okay? I love him so much. I love him so much. Don't get me wrong. I adore this man. You all just made the biggest mistake of your lives. I hope you know that. Who are you? The director of this facility. And don't play dumb. I know what else you know about me. You mean how you're with the Seiryu clan? Yes, I'm Totsuka, from the Ryuto family. The Seiryu clan held its own against the Omi takeover. That made me think you guys must be pretty hardcore. And yet here you are, 
murdering old people for money. Where's the Yakuza's honor in you? The Seiryu clan is doing what must be done for the good of society. You have no idea what burden we've taken on. Killing our elders for society's good? Go fuck yourself! <laughs> you better let all the residents here go free right now! Or I'll tell the whole world what you're really doing here! <laughs> you're welcome to try. But that would require you to walk out of here alive. And killing you is no inconvenience to me. I've got enough chemicals to melt down all your bodies! No, Mr. White, we need those to cook! All right. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love it when they just flop over. <laughs> yes. Uh. No, damn it! No, you positioned. Oh my god, you were in a great position, and now you're in the fucking worst one. Oh, oh, come on, get closer, get closer. Yeah! There we go. That's what I'm looking for. I didn't do shit! Fuck. Watch this. There we go. Oh, are you up? No, 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 get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Go, go, go. There we go. Ready for this? I got this. Shit. I just cannot get the timing right. <laughs> That's my favorite thing, is when they do the skips around like a jackass uh, move, and then Ichi responds with, Oh, now I'm pissed. So funny. Oh, oh, come on. Get in the way, get in the way, get in the way. Nah, this works, it's fine, it's fine. Is that? Oh yeah. He's pissed. That's a gay little dance. The bit, this, that's literally, literally one of the dynamics of this game. Fucking, I can't block that attack. The timing of it is just so insane to me. Oh. I mean, it's kind of overkill for this guy, but sure. Love this shit. <laughs> Very nice. Moving up in the world. Nice. God damn. Who the hell are you guys? Don't make me say it again. Let all the residents go. I'm afraid I just can't do that. Then we'll do it. We'll move them all out. <laughs> oh, shit. A for effort, boys. A for effort. I act 
activated the emergency lockdown. That door won't open until this time tomorrow. What? You've lost. So stop fighting me. And maybe, just maybe, I won't call the police. I won't explain to them how our home for nice, well-to-do elderly people is being robbed by three thugs. What kind of Yakuza calls the cops? <laughs> You're a stain on your family. <laughs> call True. me what you want. But if I call the cops, you're done. I suggest you give up and get out. Maybe instead, I'll rat you out. Oh yeah? Uh, Ichiban? Rat him out to who? The Seiryu chairman. We just need to pay him a visit at their HQ. We'll go tomorrow, bright and early. And get the chair. <laughs> you no, know, literally, I'm telling dad. I love it. Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> this is my business, not the chairman's. Oh, you're so fucked now, dude. You breathe a word, I'll kill you. So you're that scared of the chairman, huh? <laughs> so? So you're coming with me, you spineless worm. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, you're gonna take me there yourself. Because if you refuse to come along, I'm gonna tell the big scary chairman everything you did. And maybe some things you didn't, too. Oh, shit. I mean, look at yourself. Doing business like this in the name of the Seiryu clan? As a Yakuza, you accept consequences for your actions. But so no, my dad. Does this mean we have to go? Fucking love an Ichigo street smarts mode. Yeah, at a certain point, the street smarts are all he has, but they're fucking useful. He's a good boy. That's a hell of a gate. This place has that Yakuza HQ feeling down. Can't hurt to be cautious. Cautious. <laughs> Listen, let's make sure we're really good to go then. Got it. Okay. Hey, you wait right here, Totsuka. I told you what happened if you try to run, right? I know. I can't have you saying whatever you please to the chairman after all. We don't know what might be waiting for us in there. Better make sure we're ready before we bust in. See if there's anything we can use as weapons lying around. Stop by somewhere that sells medicine. All right, yeah. Um, I forget if this is a dungeon. I th I'm, I think I maybe remember what this one is. If so, um, I was gonna. I was hoping to hit up a fucking slick, slick store, like a general store. Yeah, it's a dungeon. Yeah, I think I remember which one it is. Jesus Christ, they're everywhere. Um. What's the nearest, like, store? Apple. Sudogami Highway. Okay, we'll go there. Let's just set up this cab. I mean, we can cab from here. We have enough money for the phone cab. It's a little bit more expensive, but not a lot. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got a lot of stuff here. This is going to be great. Okay. Um, so we'll get some salmon. Onigiri. Should get like 10 of those. Yeah. Got a couple lettuce sandwiches. Get like 
three of those. Um... Some Toriner. And, uh, I get two. Sooth so burns, stopping cold symptoms, receives paralyzed muscles. Okay, this is for later. Alright. Uh, anything else? What do we oh, have on us right now? Okay. Cover items. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a couple of nigiri. Um, lettuce sandwich, Toriner. We well, have all the ice cream, too. Oh, yeah, we're set on those. Um, I should probably gear up my guys. Because I haven't done that in a while. Let's go optimal gear for Kasuga. Oh, we, like, only have a helmet. Oh, is I using... Oh. Oh, the lumber is better than the bat. Oh, but we'll be able to upgrade later. Okay, so we'll... Use that for now. Optimal for him, nothing. Okay, optimal for him, nothing. Uh, we can get some weapons at a weapon shop, maybe. I mean, well, we don't have a lot of money, but... We're about to do a dungeon, so we probably can splurge a little bit since we're... pretty close to... Getting some shit. All right, and, and hey, it's like right next to the fucking. It's right next to the dungeon. Uh, so we'll uh, we'll just head back to Rose Blossom. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. Let's do it. Adult goods. Weapons and things to beat the shit out of people with. For whatever reasons you may require. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, this is gonna be... Some, uh... It's gonna be some shit. Okay, well, what's what 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 are our current stats? Hold on, I haven't really taken a look at that. Okay, uh, party. All right, let's look at the items. No gear. That's what I'm looking at. Oh yeah, Ichi is like way ahead in terms of like attack. Um, is ahead, he's ahead in magic too. I feel like Nanba really needs some extra magic on him, but I, we don't have any extra gear for that. So if we're, if we're gonna buy something, like, if we're gonna buy, like, a weapon, then, um, we should give it to Adachi. So. Where's the... Is the next one for Adachi? Long Shoehorn. Uh... Yeah, that'll add 22. I don't have 37. That's really expensive. Um, I just have 22. I mean, it's an upgrade, so we'll go with it. Alright. Uh, so that should even us out a little bit more. Yeah, it's at 82. And, uh, I mean, I thought she was, like, really good with his, uh, fucking, like, melee anyway. Like, even just his basic attack is, like, so fucking strong, so... We're probably- we're probably set. Got some items. Got some extra gear, and we'll find some gear in- in here, so... Let's go in. Hey. Don't you think that's good enough? What do you take the Siri you claim for? I bring you in totally unarmed, and what do you think will happen to my reputation? Work with me here. It's like this isn't gonna go anywhere until I at least put on some armor and accessories. What the fuck? I tried! <laughs> Damn it! I didn't know he gate kept me. What did I what did I do my first playthrough then that was like I guess I like had armor and shit? I don't even remember where I got it though. Cause I don't, cause I don't think I did anything particularly different. 
That's weird. Okay, um, well... Oh, yeah, you know what? I probably found more safes in the, uh, in the town. Take like an opportunity attack like that. Haha. <laughs> 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 I'm not gonna use me. Oh wait. Who do I call? Oh, it doesn't work. Days. Damn it. I'm so disappointed. Nap time. Yeah, I guess. You know, that makes perfect sense. I'll leave him be for now. Push and shove. Damage in anyway, shoving them with a cane, which may leave them stunned. Okay, um... Well, since I can't go in just yet, I was gonna... I was just gonna kind of go in and... Do whatever. Oh, wait, is there armor at, at this place? Probably not, right? Oh shit, yeah, there's some gear. Um, I guess, is it just a case where like everybody has to be wearing at least some kind of gear? Okay, so uh, Ichi is wearing a helmet. So I'll give, I'll get a jacket and some shoes. Give the jacket to Nanba and the shoes to Dachi. That being said, though, what else is there to do? I mean, there's sub stories I could do. Um, I really wanted to do this next bit, but also I am thinking. I, I, I am thinking I, I, I was probably going to end pretty soon. Uh, I guess I just, I, I had forgotten that entering the, the retirement home, like, leads directly into another, like, full-fledged dungeon. I had forgotten that was the case. So, when I was like, oh, I'll go into the retirement home and, uh, and then probably end when I get out. I was thinking that was going to take a little bit longer, but I think I kind of conflated the length of this section with the two bits together um, in my mind. So I'm thinking I might just call it here. I might call it here because it's getting pretty late. Um, so I feel like we could open up uh, next Yakuza stream with uh, this dungeon. And in the meantime, maybe I can I can grind a little bit uh, and find some gear. Uh, just yeah, just 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 on my own time in uh, in, in between. Uh, and just really make sure we're ready. Sound good? All right. Sounds good to me. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get some rest. Uh, but hey, thanks so much for, uh, thanks so much for hanging out. This is a super fun time. I fucking love this game. I'm glad y'all are still enjoying it. Um, I'm gonna keep going with this, uh, hopefully relatively soon. Um, so, uh, thanks for hanging out, everybody. Uh, I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna bounce, so, uh, no worries about a raid or anything. Go watch whoever you wanna watch. Um, and, uh, yeah, hey, like I always say, uh, please be good to yourselves, please be good to others as well. Do something nice for yourself if you haven't in a while. Have a wonderful day or night, whatever it is where you are, and I will see you real soon. Uh, tune in tomorrow for Iron Man, <laughs> by the way, uh, in case you missed it. I'm, I'm starting my new, uh, MCU Games, uh, series playthrough, and I'm doing Iron Man on PS3 tomorrow, so, uh, be there for that one if you are interested. And, uh, coming along with that. 
journey for me. It should be an interesting time, to say the least. Uh, but until then, yeah. See you later.